This is where I also should have made notes of how I set it up previously, you know? Because mm -hmm. I swear OBS would just save the stream copy, and you could save a better copy, too, if you want, you know, like, yeah. I might be thinking of XSplit, though. All right, we, it says we're good. We're green, 6,000 up. I mean, like, we have, like, 40, 50 uploads, so it shouldn't be, that shouldn't be the issue anymore, you know? Yeah. Um, let's check my Twitch app. Twitch. Oh, yeah, it says we're, we're live with zero, zero viewers. What the heck? Do we have audio? We have audio. We have audio. I heard it on my phone. You heard it here first, guys, on my phone. We have audio. Uh, yeah, I'm, not in, I'm, I'm the waggling chair here. Uh, well. Any music this time, especially with uh, how they're cracking down on that. I do have permission to use uh, some stuff, but mm -hmm. uh, I do. We barely got this thing live. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Take a screenshot, real haphazard like here. We don't have control function. Oh, that's so many arms away. Why you need function to get the print screen on this computer is. Beyond you. Okay. Uh, oh, we go over to the Twitters. Well, it says it's going to show up as a link. Let's let's hope it does. Tweet. Okay. Now let's go over to the Twitter for the tech exchange here. Retweet the crap out of this. Why did all these? They saw my text Twitter is becoming more active. And they're like, yeah, you should follow these people and do this thing. I'm like, no. that puppy out. Um, see if we can get some some dudes in here. Alright, happy that. Did you ready to send it to Preston or Peyton? I mean, yeah. Go to and grab copy link. Let's 
pop it into Discord here. Get rolling. Alright, so what's up? Let me open up my Twitch here. Stream Doodle. We have a whopping viewer. It's probably you. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, it's probably <laughs> my host. Or it's somebody in the show. Alright. Because I made it so like those bots don't show up and stuff anymore. Like in the same way they used to. I know that much. Like those ones that always show up in each channel. Um, so, uh, what do we got going first? We already, uh, shit my little camera out. <laughs> By the way, guys, we're going to be, uh, recording a video, recording a video uh, as we shoot this because, um, we want, we want some content, you know? What was that? I don't even know. There's so many options on Twitch now. Like, mm -hmm. I'm sure for those big time, uh, people, it's great. For me, who... Oh yeah, the only reason we haven't become a, what is it, because it's affiliate, affiliate is because I don't do it enough. We could have. Last time we built his build, we had plenty between you guys stopping and checking this stuff out, and Squares' build, and I think I did the one for the guy at work. And if I actually did this all day every day, I could, we could easily... Oh, that's weird. <laughs> Alright, so, um... Over here, you guys will see a video of it, but we, that is a uh, 3080 FTW3 hybrid. You guys have seen an unboxing video of that, hopefully. If you notice, it's, it's got some new flair yeah. here. We can hold it up to the, we're all streaming here to those people watching the video. Yeah. Um, and it needs to fit. Here, I'll hold it, I'll hold it up to the stream. In that. Um... Also, whoever tells you guys that ooh, I gotta, I'm hitting the mic cable. Oh gosh. Uh -oh. <laughs> um, but yeah, whoever tells you guys that SSDs don't need That's heat sinks, they'd be wrong, you know. Um, how long did? I mean, you made it a while without overheating, right? Yeah, I mean, it went like 15, 20 minutes at full speed. Full, so yeah, but load. it's still overheated. So, but here we have a limitation on height. Um. And the only brand I know that makes one is Elf Cool. Right there. It's like their, what would it end up being? Alpha Cooled HDX M.2 M01 is the model you want. They have M02, which is, I think, closer to the EK style. With like, it's got some fins. Supposedly, they say that'll even fit in a lot of laptops. Yeah, it wouldn't spread. Now, my, my trick on laptops is you just get a nice, thick thermal pad, and you stick it to the... For the stream, I won't because it's locked oh, to well, do it fit like over, yeah. So, possibly that that graphics card is all fuzzy and stuff, but it's but beautiful, it's perfect, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Uh, because the reason why we have the autofocus turned off for the webcam is because it hunts when we're this far away. Like, if you were closer, it would lock on your face or something, um, yeah. but farther away, it, it, it would be like, oh, there's movement, let me unfocus, refocus, and it just gets super annoying because 90% of the time we're at its max distance um but yeah so this guy is super thin um you can put it in laptops like if you have i guess some of those thicker gaming laptops yeah but if you have a thin one like like my razor blade here oh like, yeah there's the stream um they i actually i kind of learned that trick from this one the first one didn't have the second one there's just a thermal pad between the back plate and the ssd so now your entire laptop bottom plate chassis is just uh, a sink. giant heat sink way easier than trying to stuff that guy in there but in this case we need to clear and i can hit you guys up with we need to clear we need the gp needs to hang down here and not interfere um on a lot of these they put them above like you'll see there's a wi-fi card here this one doesn't have that 
Yeah. Then you could put a stick of a heat sink. Like, we could just chunk of metal. Um, so that's the first thing that we did here. And next up, we're going to try and fit this bad boy in there. And yes, if you notice, you guys can even probably see it on the stream. Um, These are not normal fans. Those are not normal fans. Um, we already went Noctua. Here's the EVGAs that come with it. They, they look kind of okay. And they have RGB, which is, I yeah. think, what's important to EVGA. Yep. Um, but even, like, I don't even know how to... Because the back, back side and the grills are on. Yeah. But, like, it's not even 120... It's supposed to be a 120 millimeter fan. Yeah. And I want to say probably like 110 maybe. Yeah. Like, like you can hear, you can even see the gap. Yeah. It, it, those are not, and they're sleeve bearing. Yeah, it's like a smaller fan in a 120 mil shroud. To get that thick, thick RGB in there probably. Yep, the girthiness. Because as you guys know, RGB is where it is at, apparently. Mm -hmm. Um... Yeah, so we're gonna get that, and we'll get back to you guys on the on the video here with that installed. Hopefully, uh, what's gonna happen is these will be pre-installed here. Uh, mount the card. I think that's easiest because then we don't have to doodle with the cables. And then this we have to mount to the front. So screws in from this side to grab the front of that rad, and it should just slip in. We did test fit with those. It fit better than we thought because we thought we were gonna have to slim. We went over that with the unboxing. Here's some slim fans. Right here. That is Pat, knocked to a really A12 by A12 by 15 instead of A12 by 25. Probably just pick her up and put her over there. That's what I would do. Gertrude. But she's going to continue to proceed to attempt to navigate. We have an all-terrain cat here. Navigate the minefield of boxes. And we made enough room for streaming. See, look, all this is clean. Uh, the other rest of the room, though, outside of the vision of the webcam, is um, not so much. Uh, yeah, real bad, like real bad, like. Yeah. So let's get that popped in. I say pop. It's super easy. Actually, it's probably easier than I thought it would be. Yeah. So, oh, and it, if you guys are thinking like, oh man, that looks clean in there. Yeah, we did all that. Yeah. There's a hole in the bottom. And that whole part here. If you watch some previous videos and stuff. And look at the look at those SSD mounts up there. That yeah, they normally don't don't do that. So uh, we added this entire back panel here just to accommodate a rad on the front. Uh -huh. And like they told you when you got this new, you could have put a rad in the front, but they didn't also say put a rad in the top. Yeah. Yeah, it required the removal of that optical drive bay. Yep. That I stand by the fact that nobody uses anymore. I yeah, I can see that. I I use them. But and you, can, you can see where we cut it here. Yeah. Otherwise, it's pretty clean because that was like probably the only cut we had to do, right? It was right there. Otherwise, it came. Yeah. Like if you you had I think I drilled out like two or three rivets and then you could just fold it. Yeah, we kept the we it. kept the back piece because this cat still on the prowl for food. Yep. But she she knows it should be there. That's my so, stab. Yeah. Uh, stop back in. Well, it's gonna be a couple seconds for you guys in the video. So we'll see you in. Now. Now. <laughs> okay, so we gotta keep that peel on the stream because that's oh. what that's that stream content. <laughs> uh, Those YouTube people don't. don't oh, by the way, guys, when you don't uh, stream regularly, you you don't have viewers. Mm -hmm. I remember back when we had like thirty people. <laughs> now I have one. No, I have a cat on my chair. <laughs> that is sketch. And I'm just concerned she's going to slip and go right on my back. Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. Luckily, her, her claws just got clipped, so maybe it won't kill me, but I'm just mortally wound. Alright. Um, let's see if we got anything on the Discord. Let's see if I can get her. Ta -da. Phyllis is trying to get at uh, Gertrude's cat food, which we have hidden because we know Phyllis is trying to get at Gertrude's cat food. But Phyllis knows that it should be here because mm -hmm. it's always there. Yeah. So she's uh, very much, right. very much being a cat. That that's uh, 
time to do the peel. Oh, are we doing the peel? Okay. Let me bring it over here. Oh, get it a little closer here. Ugh. Yeah, this is why using my actual camera for stuff like this can be nice because mm -hmm. we're not setting it up. Hopefully, once you actually get to put it in, it's like a half hour. I'm thinking. Alright, time to peel. 3080 FTW3. Uh, this, these don't exist, so I don't know what you have here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know what this one's about. It's like stuck under the. Oh, that's annoying. I'll need to grab like a little light tweezers or something. They pinched the plastic in between the PCB and the Great. shroud over here. Well, I'm going to take this off. There you go. Ta-da. Because, you know, you have to protect the shroud mm -hmm. and then you have to protect even the PCIe bracket. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. I don't... I understand expensive card, but like, uh, what, 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 what? Then they benched it in here. No, I have a little. Uh, gave me like small pliers, uh, so I can this scratch this. Smaller. Oh, it goes right through the foot. Yeah. I just got to be very careful looking at here. Oh. And of course, I that finger. Are you recording right? Oh God, this isn't gonna work because it's too slippery. Of course, you know, a nice thing to have nails for. Mm-hmm. Just go and get a tweezers over by the PC button here. An actual tweezers. Oh, gosh, there's still a cat back there. <laughs> yeah. Like, why does my just... chair feel... Oh, God, it's going to tip if I... She just seems to be comfortable now. She's perching. Yeah. She's like, hey, there you go. You guys don't see Phyllis very often because she's not normally down here, but um, she's trying to get Gertrude's food, so... She's, yeah, just big chilling. Yeah, she's on the lookout for the cat food that's actually not hers and never was supposed to be hers. Got it. See, there's pro is, did you peel out that off already too? Or is there more? Uh, no, it was just one piece. Okay. okay. Well, you know, we've seen where it's yeah. one giant piece and then it's like, oh yeah, we put some on the uh -huh. fan hub's got some. That's what uh -huh. I was thinking. Uh -huh. Preston pulls the entire logo off. Okay, excuse me. We could have put a tab on this. Or they could have just not put plastic on it. That, that's for, oh, oh, there you go. How, how many sea turtles are they going to kill with that piece of plastic? At least three, I think. That was a good peel. Yeah, I, to be truthful, that looks pretty legit. Your, your mm -hmm. modification there. It doesn't even look like there was a red line on there. Yep. I agree. It, I'm very it looks, happy with it. Looks pretty, pretty stock. Had the the G Force writing been like black underneath, yeah, I would have just cut it out. I think that would look a bit cleaner. Yeah, but it wasn't. So, but it, it turned out like it doesn't look like it's not supposed to be there. In my yeah. Opinion. And yes, you guys are gonna have to like check up, check us up out on Twitter, which I haven't posted pictures of yet. Oops. Um, mm. Maybe Preston has some up. Nope. Okay. Well, uh, there will be some up by the time of this video. Mm -hmm. Search, uh, was it like DARPC20 mm -hmm. underscore 20? Like COVID 19 <laughs> thing? Oh, well, shit, we, we muttered the word. Well, that's useless yeah. on YouTube now, I think, right? Yep. Not that any of my videos make any money anyway, <laughs> or I, you know. Because <laughs> I can't, because they, the, they took away my ability to. All you, right, I don't know if it's going to be easier to install this standing up, like vertically. No. Or... No, you're going to lay it down. All right, well, cut the video. <sighs> See ya. And yeah, we're cutting the stream. No, <laughs> we're done. That's it. That's all you get. Just a little teaser. I'm gonna put another. Oh, we have a viewer. Silicon. Hi, viewer. Silicon hat. <laughs> thanks for thanks for believing in us <laughs> to provide you with entertainment for the night. Maybe for the night, maybe a couple an hour or so. Yeah. Hopefully. Says it'll take a half hour. Fifteen. Three hours later. 
Oh, by the way, the stream I did for the guy at work, the, our mm-hmm. security guy mm-hmm. that was at Best Buy, it YouTube won't even accept it. It's too long. <laughs> nice. So? I think it's like 18 hours or something. Can I have you grab? Non-stop. Grab the radiator. 18 hours of non-stop uh, stream of building computer. That that was a that was a, a thing. Oh, it looks so clean. You're hitting things. What is it? What is the malfunction? Are you hitting something in the back? Maybe I might need to take open that the this PCIe bracket. Yeah, hold this other rest. I think we were running into this. Yeah. Uh, I have this thing called a headlamp that I lost earlier. Oh, we got a person. Oh, we got Mooski. We got Mooski here. Hello. That's uh, I've seen Jared from on the Discord. Yeah, we have a Discord. And it's accessible now. Yeah. Before we had a Discord and it was not accessible. Mm-hmm. And people don't really have a Discord when they can't get to it. I, I know it's yeah. this weird, like, Yeah. I can't survive on being a myth thing. You know yeah. what I mean? It'd be cool if I could. Like I'm Area 51 or something, you know? Yeah. You might be hitting cables on the back, I think. Yeah. Did they make the tabs longer or something going through? It's possible. It's just too chalky. Yeah, oh, I mean, it fit. She, it, here, that's also. Like, oh, do you see the yeah. clearance on our USB 3? Like, this is fitting. Okay, I want to make it latch. And yeah. we are latched now. Yeah. I mean, she fits exactly. <laughs> yeah. Where's our nice brass screwdriver? Here it is. Let's get the extendo bit on there. God, this thing was way too huge. <sighs> oh, I'll grab the screws. See, this is why I really like these skinny ones. Yeah, yeah, even as, as, we, we, cut as we block the entire street. <laughs> oh, sorry. I can like press the new this. It's a little delayed, so I won't be blocking the stream momentarily. Yeah. But yeah, we found I found four millimeter thick Phillips two bits, and we really need to get a longer cable for the mic because if I turn my chair just wrong, um, it it's uh gonna knock our mic. I don't know how our volume is because the mic's like. I mean, I guess when we're standing, it's probably pretty decent. Yeah. But, but Square's got my uh, Blue Yeti Mini. So, oh, dude, this new headlamp. So nice. Army tech, guys, if you need a nice headlamp. Oh, come on. I even got work to get me one. Yeah, you gotta push the cart a little yeah. bit that way. Yeah. That's a. I'm sure this case is also probably slightly warped after the 14. Different, uh, that's a thick boy. Different um, mods that have occurred to it. Um, and uh, how many times have we cut into it? No, not, none, not once. One, two. And then we like undid a cut essentially by yeah. putting a plate in. Yeah. I mean, this really stiffened it up, I felt like, yeah. though, when we added these. Oh, yeah, yeah. We cut all rivets and stuff, so that too, also. Okay, well, I'm going to wait something to drink real quick. Okay. Um, this, you should be able to just put in yeah. like that. We can figure out how we're doing the tubing. Yep, it's got to go in. Tuck it in under the CPU cooler tubing. Yeah, here we're going to... I'm going to rotate the whole system. I get a... We don't need this card anymore, do we? Nope, I don't think so. Should we get put her away. Uh, make some room. There should be hardware. Phyllis, no. you're happy up there. It's weird. Yeah, you, see how, do you see how she sits with this leg, though? Yeah. She'll lose one leg. Just be, it's how she balances. And she's going to whack you with that, too. If yeah. you get... Don't get too close. Uh, yeah. Smack you in the oh, face. Look, look at this. She's been taking scratches. Oh. She's bigger than the top of the chair, though. Oh, now i got to find the right one. I think it's that guy there. Are those the bolts from... Oh, yeah. The ones from... Uh, yeah, these are the ones from... UGA yeah. for going in the front? Yeah.
There's no way all eight of these bolts are going in. Because, uh, yeah, they're just not. Well, we have the fans in the back, so. Realistically. Oh, that's an unlocker. Washer's not going to work on that one. Hold that. We might have to just pop these fans out quick. I thought you were going to have to. Which is unlucky, but luckily this should be just as simple as this is all tied in. But we should be able to access everything. I would like to note, if you have a stock 350D, the front does not come off like that. Nope. <laughs> There's like, all the clips are perfectly, you know. Intact. Intact. Yeah. I'm only going to take off one fan at a time here. Luckily, this was back when Corsair was smart, and maybe they've gotten smarter again by just reusing the design. Um, the one, dude, you know how much they reuse design? They didn't even update the, the bottom filter to be one long one. You know how Fractals had one long one for, like, ever on the bottom of the case, right? Yeah. On the new 4,000 and 5,000, it's still a, like, half or third filter from the bottom. It, they didn't up, even update it to be, a like, one giant one. So now we're gonna, these are so well done in, I don't want to undo cable management, so we're just gonna let that guy sit there. Do I get one in? This is the one we're gonna be able to hit, I think. Oh, hold on. Ooh, that's a, yeah, it's divoted out. I don't know if this is gonna reach this screw. Those are the ones. Yeah. They have to go through the, yeah, the long way. What if we do that? It's resting on the bottom of your case, yep. but that's fine. And you could be able, should probably be able to yeah. use the washer too. Yeah, and yeah. I probably will be able to actually get more screws in that way. Like we are literally resting on the bottom of the case, but that is an exact fit. So I'm get Corsair measured. Yeah, which you can't always say about these case companies. Dude, we're we're fine with the 25 mil fans. To be truthful, here look, like that this my extra cable doesn't like not match that badly. You know? Oh, and we got plenty of space. Alright, well let's pull this one off. I'm gonna put two bolts in this fan here well, first. Uh where's the other screw? Oh they're under all yeah. the rest of the screws should so be under be four. I think we're only gonna get four out of this guy. Dude, this 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 looks so good, in my opinion. I like Nocto fans, though, guys. You too should like Nocto fans. We will convert you. And you know what? These uh, these older NFF tolls actually match yours because yours are that old. You know what? Your fans are that old that they match the. They're not the pinker color, like the more warm peachy. Mm -hmm. This guy out. See, yeah, realistically, only having four of him. I think a little more than that. I think that's because this lined up too well. Yeah. I'm thinking these are actually all gonna, or at least six. Yeah. I'm Be aware glad. if you modify an older case like this and put on RGB rings, mm -hmm. it's tight fit. You may have to literally cut out pieces of your case. Oh yeah, that's right. There's like a bunch of pieces. In this <laughs> oh, yeah, and you don't have a front fan filter, but we did update this with the newer entire front, the airflow front, that the airflow front has that has a filter. Kind of a filter. Which is the new four thousand and five thousand D have the new filter? Yeah. Because they really should have never stopped making this design and should have iterated on it instead of just oh hey we're gonna make these remember all their cases for a while were just boxed in glass. Mm -hmm. It's like where. Where does the airflow even come from? Oh no! The rubber. <laughs> yeah, look, oh, you're, they, they are all going to match. You can get all of them, I guess. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, the one that the fan, but it might get squished into the rubber. No, that's me, because you have a lip. Oh yeah. I would try probably without washers on those. Yeah. Because it's gonna I'm be too tall. Too. Yeah. The bottom ones though. 
Those are fully within. Yeah. Even if we only did the like the top four and or the top two and bottom two, those are the four you would want. Yeah. Because it's the most rigid. Yeah. a little bit. I have to loosen up. Yeah, can you just push this down just a touch? You're getting it. Or maybe you'll have to spin your screwdriver. So. Yeah. Well, too late. Oh, it's kind of hard to see. I get my head's in the way, but there's not really a good angle to... can't with the with the overall camera where it is i'm tweeting out pictures as we're doing yeah. this but cut the live tweet going but uh yeah it's uh do this i can fit my hand i i don't i was not expecting this yeah, after yeah. unboxing this yesterday like and then after I, the measurements we took it was definitely very yeah because we measured and we we knew that if if we could fit fans it was going to be slim ones yeah so, again, my measurements were perfect. and uh... Oh, and if you guys are wondering, like, we're not worried about the front fans not really lining up because it's their two, their 140s. And now what our rad is, like, smashed into the bottom of the case. Yeah. So, like, we're probably only hanging, what, like, a, a third of the top fan, two-thirds of the top fan? Yeah. Something like that. Um, but that's why we mounted the NFF 12s in pull, mm -hmm. which I happen to have almost new, brand new ones here. Because Preston only had two S12 A's, so airflow fans. Those would have worked, technically, right? But, like, not yeah. Not as probably good. The one thing we got to, like, really manage, um, you guys can probably see this. Uh, there's some cables here. These are the water, cab water cables. Yeah, water cables. Not tubes. Mm -hmm. Cables. That's how mm -hmm. water transfers is, is uh, yeah. wires, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, they stick out, so we're gonna have to figure out a nice way. And yet we are we are tubes down. Um, Perfect. and actually it wouldn't have fit tubes up because mm -hmm. we would hit our other water cooler. Mm -hmm. Literally, this is a jigsaw puzzle that fit perfectly. You'd be able to put in your four X card, I think. That's it. Like if you decide you want a, like a ten gig WAN or a, yeah. but you could do another NVMe there. Like if you want for something yeah. like something. You can add one thing to this computer, Preston. Yeah, take your pick. <laughs> or like, a, or say, a capture card. If you mm -hmm. want one of those really nice capture cards, you can add that. But like, we everything else is literally plugged in in this. Yeah, this was arguably the the sketchiest part was whether everything was actually going to go in, and this went way smoother than I was expecting. But we take those. Yeah, yeah, and like the, uh, uh, the screw you're putting in right now it's is going not going long. into anything. What? You're putting it in here. Yeah. Those have to go down into the... No, no. That's definitely... Oh, that's true. Okay, yeah. I thought you were putting in the... Yeah, yeah I'm putting in the fans. Okay. The fans. And you already got the two down here? Wait, the bottom? Yeah. Cool. And this thing is like fucking in there then. Yeah. I wasn't expecting it to mount up that well. I guess. God. See, I think the fans there look much better than like hiding up top. Mm -hmm. We, then we have to do that for your RGB and your cleaning of the radiators, cleaning that radiator. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, at least you can take the fans off the front without yeah. dismounting the entire radiator. Yeah, and just blow it out. And just blow it out. Because right now, basically, what we have, guys, is the the rad. We can once we get it done, we'll we'll get it picked up and flipped around. But the rad is mounted to the case with yeah. fans already on it, and then we're mounting fans that are bigger to the case over top. So it's like we're sandwiching. 
<laughs> it, oh, and here, of course, you designed this well, though, because it being heavy locks it in better. Yeah. Whereas I've definitely had other case manufacturers that if you drop it hard enough on the front, the front of the thing just... Yep. Because it's the other way around. Well, we can tip it up now and uh, turn it. Turn this. Tip it up. I'm gonna get out the camera, and we can show off. I mean, oh, yeah, that's, there we go. That's money right there. Yeah, minus this dangly bit. Yeah, we're but, working on it. But yeah, this is temporary. Yeah, and then what we also have to figure out is right now these two are tied into the GPU. I <sighs> very much hope that that works fine. All right, did we leave a hole back here? Yeah, there's a hole right here yeah. that we can get through. It's when we paint the butt. Yeah, you got three free. You have three fan ports. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So here, for those not watching the stream and watching the video, video we have the rad. Do you have those super small uh, uh, standoffs? Like stick on standoffs. They're labeled. Yellow labeling. Oh. oh. And careful, you're getting near the mic. Oh, yep. USB. <laughs> and down, down it goes. I can scooch the laptop a little bit, but not because I only have so long on my charger on my laptop, too. Um, so for the guys on the video, here she is. That fit up way better than what we thought. Mm -hmm. Actually lined up to screw holes. We didn't have to drill anything, and what, you can, you can fit your hand between there. Our original measurements said like even with Maybe slim bumping. fans, they'd be bumping uglies. So that was it, like entirely on the estimate of like what we thought the radiator thickness was going to be. Yep. And like the the length of the card that they said it was and we already know that the picture is wrong. Yeah. On EVGA's website. So mm -hmm. hopefully maybe by the time this video is up, I might have a new title bar on Twitter. But we have a, a scan of the 3080 FTW3 hybrids back plate. Without the mod in Without it. the mod on it. So we could um, just print up, use the vinyl cutter to cut up, not print, cut, I guess. Yeah. Cut up the exact fitting thing mm -hmm. that refused to mind us giving it an exact two scale file, mm -hmm. initially not do that, you know. Yeah. And then now what we have to do is, if you see here, these tubes are sticking out the side, which, um, as cool as that looks, um, not going to work for us. And then figure out the fan power cables there, not fan power cables, uh, GPU power cables there. Um, and he's barring one of my, if you can see one there, there's, there's a gray, non, not carbon shiny, but just gray. That's from my server. So uh, we're using that temporarily so we can get an order into cable mod, because you would end up paying more shipping than you would for the cable, I think. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, That's what do we got in here? Here we go. We got neck neck fun, an actual black noise noise blocker. Yeah. Oh yeah. Shit. Unstuck. I'm gonna need double sticky tape. I think these tubes are too. You need a bigger standoff. That's too it's, small. I don't think it's. Good. Maybe the next one up will fit, but anything bigger than that, it's gonna. Like, yeah, stick I would use off. the next one up. Um, um, yeah, we're trying to get those down there. And the uh, the pad came off because I think we went one small on the uh, the stick on tie down. Let's try one besides bigger, and we'll resume once we make some progress. All right. Yeah, I would those point five on anything but like laptop yeah. or keyboard builds or you know. Yeah. Careful, that mic cable. Yeah. I'll just move the whole shebang to the left so I don't keep twisting my <laughs> chair and. But yeah, Noctua's and, and noise blockers, uh, they're expensive. Now, if you've built enough systems with them, you literally have them sitting around here. <laughs> or if you go and plan for them. Yeah, in my case, I had enough to fill an entire server with them. Um, because I was I was using the second gen NFF12s that are the updated color. Fancy boat. Who is a Lord TTV? Yeah, I should know Taylor. this. Hey, Taylor. He's the pog champ himself. We're getting this baby 38. Something I don't believe you have. Wow. 
called out. Well, he, he always upgrades his system. He's like, oh, I don't know if my 2080, 2080 is fast enough. It's it's fast enough. This time I'll give it more than 10 seconds of stick time too. I'll try. I'll start routing some cables while this adheres to. Yeah, I think that's gonna work much better. Yeah. Cause I think you were just running like you didn't have enough surface area. Yeah. To. To do it, you um, know, like. This is the clipper. Yeah, it's over there on that desk. There you go. All right. This thing's gonna have some power. Show boobs. <laughs> yeah, he's still running a 1080. No upgrades for him. That's what we're taking out of here. A dirty 1080. If not filthy. I know where it went. Somewhere around here. It's uh behind yeah behind the camera bed. Ah. Normally we put them on many of the many of the new shelves I have here, but uh, it's filled with Pokemon. Oh, that's a fresh cable. That's a fresh connector there. Yeah, so if you guys are wondering, a 20 Ti stock is roughly 2x the power of a 1080. Uh, what didn't we find that th this 3080 stock is gonna be rough, like minimum 15% faster than a 2080 Ti? Yeah, I think so. So we're sky high. Okay, I'm gonna try to run these uh, bad boys here. Yeah, okay, I have I'll to pull. Look. I have a bunch of slack that I need to get gotcha. back through. If you want to pull. I don't know where that one comes out, but they're the bottom there. Yeah, our, our good thing we have braided cables because this lip over here is a little bit jaggedy. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, we don't we don't need to comply to OSHA standards, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, a bunch of your stick on tie downs that were stuck on our new painted thing came mm -hmm. off back here. Did they? Yep. That's not good. And the thing is, because it's so textured. Yeah. The, the the cables by this time though have actually like melded to that position though, if that makes sense. Yeah. After enough heating and cooling, they've. Mm -hmm. My mom actually got me some, like a little thing to hold these. I don't know where it went. But uh, just cable managing our three, three, eight-pin PCIe power, which is why I had to pick up a new PSU here. Did, did your old, old one, even if we would have had, like, say we had enough cables. I don't know if it had enough spots. Yeah. It might have, but it would have just been, just barely. Because back when we planned his previous, well, what was that 2014 we built yeah. the original system? Like, we thought, and it was up until 3080, like, 650 watts good for anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you had, like, what, a gold-rated Seasonic that mm -hmm. died immediately. But then you had never had any issue with it, pretty yeah. much. So, yeah. and Seasonic's my go-to. Most brands actually have their stuff made by Seasonic, so I trust them. They were gonna send me a power supply for one of these, but then the whole power supply thing happened. Mm -hmm. I do appreciate that, you know, like offering, and then they're like, uh, we're kind of need every one we got. Yeah, because they were gonna send a new one for the for Anthrax Nine when I rebuilt it, but. Uh, yeah. He's no fancy boat. Are you still no? Yeah, no. I was fired. Mm -hmm. I was let go. Um, like thousands of other uh, Best Buy employees. Okay, now this thing that came off is restuck. And I barely pushed mm -hmm. on it at all. Okay, whatever. And realistically, we only need those to train the cables where they're supposed to go, not like be there all the time. I it's gonna little suck a little if we have to move that those fan cables. But you gotta do what you gotta do, right? That looks so clean. Mm -hmm. 
Like, I think this would look fine not lit up. Like, it would match yeah. things. Mm -hmm. That's why I turned them white. Alright, now we flip it to the back. Oh, we, dude, we always zip tie. Like he's saying because we have individual sleeve cable, we got to yeah. zip tie them because they're individually sleeve. No, we just zip tie literally everything always. Yeah. Uh, here, do we have the drawer? Move your knees. Here. There's a, there's a, here. That's all cutoffs. We zip tie zip ties, bro. Um, and actually in a smaller case. What this was back? Didn't we do this like COVID? Being a COVID? Mm -hmm. That's why they got the name. Yep, yeah, yeah. That's why large. he's got the Dar PC underscore twenty. Um, so you couldn't actually order from Cable Mod back then. So we ideally would have ordered like custom length cables, but we also didn't know what thirty eighty he was gonna have that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. So this the reason why these are a little bit long is because they're for an ATX case, not an MATX case. Um, for my server, that's an XL ATX. I'll order custom length cables, and that's when we'll order him a not random gray one that I don't. Mm -hmm. I, to be truthful, dude, I barely notice. Yeah. I'm glad I found it because otherwise you would have had a cable you would have really. Yeah. I noticed. mean, it would have been solid black, but it would have been kind of ugly. So. This is where we start making kind of weird decisions to on the cable management, but. Yeah, I mean. had we had more, like, a little shorter cable, it would have been a little nicer to manage, but... Yeah. I, I would still rather manage individually sleeved than the big chonkers. Mm -hmm. You know, chonky boys. I am working a uh, small business IT uh, in track technology. They're based in Sheboygan and Plymouth. I left there before I got let go, so, like, don't feel too bad that I got let go. I was working two jobs for a bit there. Yeah, you're you're good on this side. Like you're mm -hmm. you're tight, tight. Dude, those two connectors to the fans are not actually too far off. Where if we had to go through, yeah. So we still have to take off this front fan though to get them through the hole. Oh yeah, because we made those. Yeah. And, and hey, uh, yeah. Did we make a video on that? I don't know if we did. Because we were like kind of in a hurry, I think. Well, not in a hurry, but like ratchet this guy up. Oh yeah, if you're running cable ties we're using, highly, highly recommended. Um, they're the 16 or 18, 18 pound tests, uh, but they're eight inches long. Normally you get those in like, uh, here, they sent these, it's going to be out of focus, but those are the four inch, right? These are harder out. Get the little bit longer ones, you can get a pack of a billion on Amazon. It's actually for like 30 bucks. Good to go. I mean, I know that this, this flexes in a little bit, but. Oh, that's the other. Should be good. It's going to have to because it's, it's sticking yeah. out. I mean, I've never had this back panel be able to go on without, like, freaking out. I wouldn't put it on anyway because we're going to have to do testing and stuff. Yeah. But, but she's basically done. Ouch. Oh, uh, just take pressing out at the knees. Mm -hmm. Literally. Okay. Oh. This is one chunky little little box yeah, here. Yeah, that added eight pounds. <laughs> Literally, I genuinely like. Yeah, you can add maybe one expansion card. I think. Oh, that tube is like. Just make sure that this guy goes on. It's it's gonna go on, but it like might be touching the. All right. Let's do some more live live tweets. Was there part of a video that oh. Perfect. Oh, looks so good. Yeah. So good. Had we not already had the whole thing with Noctuas that are still fine, the gray mm -hmm. Noctuas would have yes, just been like, oh! I agree. Mmm! So good. I agree. But but we, we literally had your entire case filled with and hundreds not, of dollars. And literally the fact is it would have taken an extra like eight years to do because... Uh, <laughs> Literally, in order to change these fans, the whole motherboard almost has to come up. Yeah, yeah. Or we would have done that back then, but like, yeah. why why replace hundreds of dollars of fans? 
Yeah, that worked you know. perfectly fine. But yep. the aesthetic. It's not like these look bad. It's just yeah. the gray ones would look fly. Yeah, like the, gray, they, the or the black. Yeah, the or the black with the gray corners. Yeah, that would look good too. Yeah. But uh, yeah, and then I had these for those wondering. Mm -hmm. Basically, brand new NFF twelves. We were gonna do put slim fans on, but like I said, my hand fits there, so we're good. Like we were even worried to fit. Like I'm are gonna fit slim fans. Like yeah. So uh, yeah. Let's, uh, what do we got here for some tweet tweet action here? We got, we got that one. Progress. Were we going back to the video too at some point here? Yep, to... yep. We got progress. Hashtag star PC20. Hashtag DIY. Hashtag PC building. Go. Send. All right. So, let's see if I can try to get this a little closer to the camera for you guys. I got the wrong part of the stream up. There you go. There you go. You, you know, she's looking she's looking pretty good, I think. Yeah, this is where I was complaining to Preston earlier about. I wish you could just, without software, like, not have the LEDs on for the RAM or... Mm -hmm. <sighs> Why is RGB so hard? Like, we actually figured it out for the most part. And then I remember the first time we set, in a, set a color, yeah. and it was just, like, our rainbow, rainbow RAM. And you're just, like... Yeah. Like, everything was, like, orange, and then the RAM was red, uh, rainbowing. Yeah. Yep. And the other thing is, ASRock's uh, RAM thing, if you don't turn it off after you set it, but it has to run with your PC, and then you have to remember to turn it off. Otherwise, some games see it as, like, a cheat engine. Because it can capture your screen, because like you yeah. can change it to what's like going on on your screen, mm -hmm. and some games think that you're hacking because you're like monitoring your your screen color or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, oh yeah, our, our awesome SSD mounts, yeah. dangly guys. That's what we were trying to explain to Joe yeah. the other night. Was he's like, wait, you just put them up there? Yep. We're like, yeah, yeah. He's like, oh, you literally drill holes in the top. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. And it works pretty good. So we're rocking... What do we got in here? Uh, 39. All right. So here we, go. here we go, guys. She's in here. She's kill managed up, looking pretty on, on this side. Uh, still still decent on the other one. You know. Our cables are a bit long, so you gotta, you got to deal with that. But the nice thing about getting sleeve cables like this, you could get shorter ones. We were just... Not at a point to be able to do that. And, uh, there you go. If you look right there, there's my cable. I contributed to. Mm -hmm. Eventually that'll get swapped out. But, yeah. Because um, I will eventually need that cable too. <laughs> and that's what'll probably prompt press to actually do it. Because I imagine I'm going to get the cable, then it'll be a while. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we're rocking in here, 3900X, 64 gigs of RAM now, 3600 I think. Yeah. Um, full, full up slots there, Trident Z, uh, Neo, I believe, yeah, 3600, best you can do, unless you want to, like, buy a lot of money, or buy a, buy a lot of money, yeah, I mean, spend a, a lot of money. You can print money with this thing, pretty much. Nowadays, yeah. Yeah. yeah, of course. And then we have our, or his, I should say, 3080 FTW3 hybrid mounted up and to me that doesn't even look like you wouldn't even notice that that rad in the front is for that GPU I don't yeah. think right away but it is with the Noctuus we have in the front here a 14 140 mil Noctuus in push they don't really line up so then we added the NFF 12 120s in pull which are that's like what they're designed to do it actually technically push is what they're designed to do but you know much better than than an airflow fan or something like that and much better than the stock EVGAs, mm -hmm. I'm thinking. Yeah. On noise and pressure. Um, and then storage-wise, we've got, what is it, a 980 Pro yeah. 500, I think? Two, no, it's only two something, just because uh, it's just my OS, right? Yep, and then you got a two terabyte Sabrent, right? Sabrent. Q. And then we got something. two 500 gigabyte in RAID 0, of course, because... Yeah. Ball, balls to the wall, you know, 
as his like temp drive, uh, yeah, like storage drive, literally anime, whatever, nothing. Yep, crucial goes really because all the games are on the saber because even a terabyte nowadays is. And you can't see the saber in there. Unless you install Call of Duty, then you need to get your own hard drive for that game. By there itself. you go. Oh, it, ex- it now exceeds on PlayStation 4, 500 mm-hmm. gigs. Mm-hmm. The 500 gig console. So you, you, you like, if you have a base level PS4, yeah. you cannot play it if yeah. you want Warzone and yeah. Black Ops. It's crazy. In here, if you see the Alpha Cool, that is the saber drive. We had to add a, a little uh, heat sink to it because we were seeing overheating and a severe hit in performance once it mm-hmm. did um now it took a while to get there but we we found room and we had a this, uh, Alpha cool makes a really slim one that's designed for like itx systems and laptops that fits in that region so i'm thinking this is a pretty good system we'll have to check back in once we actually know what this thing's gonna pull right like mm-hmm. 5 FPS, you're thinking, right? I think so. I think it'll be worse than 1080. Okay. Maybe maybe 6, then. Maybe 6. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we got to move over the 4K monitor, don't we? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Mm -hmm. Streaming the rearranging of my entire bedroom. All right. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have a proper job now, Taylor. Proper? Big boy job. All right. Um, my uncle wanted his bad hard drive. We're not bad. I replaced this slim WD blue with a lot of Pokemon. Any MTG? Probably not. Go. I see a lot. Of, no. 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 Po- no. I'm, I, that was a long time ago. I used to play that. Got, got back into the Pokemans because uh, I watched somebody unbox uh, XY Evolutions. Got that? Got the hidden nostalgia, dude. Mm-hmm. And then you just turned it into a problem. <laughs> yep. There you go. There you go. If you have one of these in your system, now, now it's take it, it out. WD Blue Slim. It seems like you just get scammed by Amazon Warehouse. Yep. Oh god. It's. <laughs> I got the one here that's not yeah. even like half the box is in there. Yeah. I mean, at least I can just return it. Like yeah. Whatever. But it is uh, literally... Oh, the box is a bit damaged. Mm-hmm. Uh, Amazon, all the packs are cut open on the bottom and all the good cards are taken out. No. The box is just damaged. All right. I think we have to move this, otherwise I'm never going to be able to get back in that yeah, corner. I agree. Uh, Mike has moved. And it's not like we're really going to be working back here too much anymore. Hopefully, ideally, as long as the fans aren't you know, full aeroplane. Yeah, I'll I think the starting out, we'll get this guy plugged in um, once I get the stuff moved. What are you looking for? Foods? You want, to, oh, you want your cat nutch? Okay, we can do that. Mm-hmm. Come here. <laughs> Do you want a chair, Richard? Do you want to swap to the smaller chair? Probably. Now that the cat is no longer commandeered yeah. it. There you go. There you go, Richard. Do 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 do. heavier than this thing. It's, it's a trunky boy. Oh my god. She's a... Oh no. You're going to get a leg day to get that thing. Oh yeah. Yeah, no, he's rocking M.2s. He's got uh, the 980 Pro. Mm-hmm. I think it's a 500. Mm-hmm. Um, which are rel- that was cheaper than we thought it would be. That mm-hmm. was like... It came out and we're like, oh, Sure. You know, and it's only a boot drive, so you really only need. I wouldn't go a two e six anymore because that would the little, little yeah. too small. Yeah, that's what you were running was that PMY because that's just yeah what I had. Um, and at the time. PCIe card yeah. thing. Yeah, and he had to do it through a PCIe adapter before. Mm-hmm. Um, the uh, but see, and that's just it though. I needed to go to M.2 storage 
Because it literally would not fit. Yeah, so before, his SSDs took up that much front space. Well, that deep. That yeah. much wide space. Yep. Yeah, literally. And we weren't even originally planning on getting these in there, but I was like, yeah. you know, we could probably fit two of them yeah, some that would have been sad, because I would have lost storage space. And you had just and... gotten these. Yeah. Because um, those are the 500 gig yeah. Intel, I don't know, yeah. some things. I'm sure we could figure it out, yeah. but... Uh, the Intel, one of Intel's more recent SATA SSD offerings. Um, though you're not going to see any more of those anymore, Rip Intel. They're not making, cons they, they sold off their NAND and they're not making consumer SSDs anymore. And they're not making cons Optane. Not making that anymore either. No, there is something. I could probably put another uh, SSD in the bottom here. <laughs> Just right here. That would look ugly as heck, but... If I needed to, I, I, I could. I would personally probably add another add-in card into yeah. that Forex slot with yeah. just just drop the eight terabyte in there. Like if that happens, you yeah. just or or you take out your saver because mm -hmm. I think it wouldn't be that hard to get to it because those tubes are yeah. unhook your power connectors and yeah. you wouldn't have to move your tubes. You just take your card out and flip it. Yeah, stick a just stick the eight terabyte in there. Just be like mm -hmm. baller. Mm -hmm. They announced the 16 terabyte now. Did they? Yeah, because that's only PCI 3.0. Yeah. The 4.0 max size is going to be um, 16 terabytes okay. for a single drive. There are hard drives that are not... Mm -hmm. Like a like 14 terabyte, 3.5 inch hard drive is... Mm -hmm. Mechanical platters that are... Yeah, think about how big that is. Yeah. Like that's just... It's just loony. That, that much space is going to be in such a little package. You want to take your bowl and put it on top of the fridge? Yeah. Alright. If you guys wondering what I'm doing right now, uh, we got to rearrange some monitors because on the test beds and benches over here, we previously only had 1080p. Which is not good enough for the new system here. Um, 1080p is that's, that's a chunk change. Here, what we're talking about. Oh, I found my dart! Nerf dart. But yeah, if you're looking for, uh, you know, if you're not buying Samsung for your drives, um, the WD Black drives, I've had very good luck with. I have those in my personal laptop at a two terabyte, my work laptop at a 500. They actually use less power than the Samsungs. Um, they don't have all the fancy features necessarily which can be good or bad, depending on what you're doing with it. And my phone just fell out of my pocket. Um, and uh, otherwise, Sabrent makes a whole... Like, they've been really ticket, taken off within uh, recently with their QLC drives they started up to. And then now they have a bunch of uh, TLC and MLC drives as well. So check out their stuff. I'm just going to do a quick tweet here. pull this monitor up and through and then we gotta move the Dell over you wanna see Dusty? you, you can open that now that was just so Gertrude could eat yeah. and Phyllis could not uh... attack her well. yep Ugh. Ugh. okay that is the monitor that we're going to set up your mom with. Probably don't need this giant long HDMI cable. Mm -hmm. I have a shorter one if you do need, still need an HDMI cable. We don't probably need this like 14 foot long yeah. thing. Yeah. Um, just put that on the bed for now. Here's the power cable for it. I shall dust it off with my 
microfiber. Yeah, I probably would too. Uh, I'm going to do that to squares this here too. So what we're going to do is I'm just moving over. You got two 1080p monitors over here. Um, and I have recently got myself a whole bunch of new monitors. Same with my press nest. Uh, I do not remember the model number. Do you? It's uh, really long. So XG27UQ or P. I think I think the UQ is right. Yeah, it's something UQ. It's 27UQ. I don't remember. I think it's XG. X, yeah, XG. This is not the PG, which yeah, is their old game. The really. Yeah, that was the earlier model. That was garbage. Yeah. It was garbage. It was about the same price though. Yeah. Oh yeah, but it was. If not more. And. All right. Do you want to grab? Yeah, wipe it down. Um, so that's what he's rocking. I'm, I've got those upstairs as well. So what they did is displace some of my better monitors, um, which means I can move my crappy 4K over to the test bed area here, and uh, we can get actually do some 4K benchmarks. Otherwise, we'd be doing 1080p benchmarks. Do you want to grab these cables and fish them down the back side of that? Get on thermal grease. Port an aqua. I'll go grab them. And a water cooling fitting. Oh. oh, what am I hitting? Okay. The blue HDMI is what you want. It's not even down there, I don't think. Yeah, no. Because that's the one that's doing all the damage right now. You didn't actually shove it down there. It just curled up. There you go. Alright. Um, we're good. We're good. There's a nerf fart down here. Oh, they found another one. I found one earlier. Dang cat stealing them. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Alright, so now we're going to grab the, uh, I need a display for a cable. I mean, there's a box with them. <laughs> I get that that's not the point, though. <laughs> yeah. Well, is that, oh, that was probably loud. Dusty. Oh, dude, I did this all nice and, like, routed the power cable under uh -huh. the monitor. Uh -huh. uh, that's unlucky. See, yeah, part of the issue is there's not... Systems are getting better, you know, it can't just use that basic 1080p. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like, say if you get a 38 and you got a 1080p panel, it better be like 360 hertz. Right? Like... And you've seen some of my stuff at 4K. I personally think I'd play, rather play a lot of games, like as long as it's not like an FPS or something. I'd rather play that 4K. Yeah. Looks better. Way, way better. Or like Tony Hawk. Turn yeah. on HDR in that game. Yeah. That's like... That game looks really good. Stupid good, as the kids would say. Stupid like a fox, is what uh, what? AV says. Stupid like a fox. Yeah. Canadians, apparently. Yeah. Them Canadians. Cable acquired. Oh no, I can't use that system. <laughs> Gosh, the thing sounds like it's about to take off. That's actually pretty quiet for it. Really? Mm hmm. That's what happens when you get an uh, Ultrabook, but you cram a quad core CPU and a dedicated graphics card in it. Yeah. It's not quiet. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually like um, I had the previous one because remember they upgraded me for free at Best Buy because they couldn't fix my previous one. Mm -hmm. um, that one like they actually put better hardware in this in this updated one like six or eight months later because that's actually enough cooling. They went on the safe side because even their fifteen and seventeen inch have always overheated. Yeah. Um, this, however, because it's got tenth gen Intel in it and um, sixteen series graphics. It, uh, 
it only uses 100 watts. Like it, it has 100 watt because I also wanted to make sure my laptop could run on just Type C, mm -hmm. and that max is at 100 watts. I need a display port cable. I can send this one cable down here, maybe if I can make it in the hole. You know. This is hard, guys. That shit, that's as far yeah. as I can go with it. Yeah. Alright, I gotta go find us a display port. Yeah, looking for food probably. So it turns out I have a ton of extra of these. Mm. Because remember, I just had to replace all mine like you are. Because mm -hmm. HDMI 1.4, or not HDMI 1.4, DisplayPort 1.4. Mm -hmm. So this is the one for my main monitor upstairs before. Gotcha. Should be plenty fine for yeah. potato mm -hmm. over here. Mm -hmm. I found a Snapple. I'm going to drink this Snapple here. And they're plastic tops now, not metal. <sighs> no, but... No, they're not metal here. Is this plastic? Yeah. This is plastic though. That's what crazy. Oh, I yeah, thought was bottle, crazy. The bottle's plastic. Dude, right. when when it's not like here, I mean, that to me looks about as close as you can get to how glass looks. Yeah. As the first time I saw that, and somebody's like, that I read it's a plastic bottle. I'm like, really? Mm -hmm. And then until you open it, like it's soft now, but when it's actually sealed, it feels just yeah. as hard as glass would. I mean, also. The glass is actually better than plastic, except in America we don't recycle glass, so... Yeah, we pretend to. Yeah, but we don't actually, like... In all other countries, you bring back your bottle, they wash it out, and they refill it. Here, we smash it into little bits, mm -hmm. put it in a big pile, and maybe get around to using it. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then they only use it as, like, scrap glass, because, you know, you have to have better glass for when you're making, like better products and apparently the glass bottles you drink out of are like good products i could see like like i have those glass locks that you might want a certain you know like 
great or a Pyrex yeah. or a <laughs> what like your glass bottle you are uh, America man America also with her fructose corn syrup everywhere and her it's good stuff that shit's in everything literally mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then most the oh, wow I picked like freaking side middle of it no I'm just saying like the the length here this yeah. thing's like a is it an anaconda? A long snake? I don't uh-huh. know. A long snake. Yep. I should know that because of Razor, because they name everything after snakes. You know, I should have. Mm-hmm. I should know like all the snakes by now. Yep. The viper. The... All right, we got. Well, you gotta plug the the display port in the right way. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. keyed, so I don't know how I manage that one. I mean, I've seen people break. <laughs> it's pretty Ooh. bit heavy for that uh, stand there. I think it's tall enough we can prop, but then I don't have a place to put the keyboard. Yeah. You I mean, know what I mean? Like, I mean, how far does that go down? That's really high. Yeah. But. Well, that's what you get. Yep. Whatever. Because that stand's not made for that monitor. Yeah. yeah the scepter monitor was like two little sticks. Yep. Uh, this is from one of my other. Was just sitting on the bezel. Yep. Mm-hmm. Well, let's just put some two little sticks. I mean, guys, it was one hundred eighty dollars for a four K monitor. Mm-hmm. Mind blowing. Mm-hmm. All right, let me get under here. Normally, I'd be like cool and dope, and uh, like capture the screen and stuff, but mm-hmm. not today. Well, that's the. This is probably the most costly part of that Toshiba laptop. It's a brick? Yeah. Power brick? Yeah. Look, it's an actual Toshiba one, too. That's why when they gave that to me. <laughs> Do you see how much cable we have? Yes. Like, it's just... Yes. Alright, alright, alright. Uh, into your desktop, I guess. Okay. Well, don't break it. Smile. The unfortunate thing is we... Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get a hernia. Flip around the other... Yeah. Or a 180. Like this? No, no. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can always flip it around it yeah. a little more if we have to. That way we can get a look at it while it's... <sighs> Dude, that from this angle? Uh-huh. That's, that's a... Yeah, you got a lot... That's a chonky boy! You don't have a lot of uh, mechanical Never. advantage. Yeah. No... Uh, she's a chonky, mm-hmm. chonky boy. Um, so we're gonna have to get the latest driver. Yeah. Then we can make sure she runs properly. Uh-huh. Then and realistically, we, we need to do the OC switch. We, yeah, we need to get the, the newer BIOS on it that actually supports. Because I don't think like I think they I thought they they were flashing the hybrid ones with the newest one. But no motherboard. Oh motherboard, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they should have added that thing that Squares said that uh, where the CPU can access the VRAM. Okay. They pushed that back to third gen or three thousand okay. series CPUs now. Hopefully that's out. Otherwise, we're going to have to upgrade the BIOS again in a month. Is that on NVIDIA cards or is it just... Coming TM. It is currently... The 30 series will be the first ones that get it. It's mm-hmm. supposedly going to go all the way back to 10 series. Okay. So, I mean, we should update the BIOS anyway because... All our stuff. Mm-hmm. But... Just don't... Is our 30 series PCI Express 4.0? Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, these, yes. will only, these should work right now because yeah. it's a native part of PCI Express 4. Um, it's the 20 and 10 series that NVIDIA was like, oh, we're going to add it to those because there's nothing that can stop us. Mm-hmm. Which technically they're, they're, dude, you have no no USB 2 natively on your board? Nope. Okay, that, well, it's a good thing we added that panel at the bottom then. Mm-hmm. People on the stream are like, well, USB 2? What, what could you want that for? Mm-hmm. Uh, well, it turns out USB 2.0 devices work better oh, in oh, 2.0 ports. Unused display port. Uh, your screw's too long. Is it? This screw. Oh. Prevents you from plugging in the light. At least with this connector, from plugging into the display port. Huh. Curious. So we're gonna use a different one for now. Alright. Just the top one, I assume, right? Yeah, just the one most. Yeah. This way. Wasn't expecting that. I'm guessing they moved it over more or something. 
Since, because I don't think that happened in your last card. No, I mean, but I only had three, uh, it was, it's a three and one. Three on the top row, one on the bottom row. So there's nothing that close to the... Alright. You flip power on. Uh -huh. Some the lights flicker a smidge. I think, uh, Phyllis is trying to get to Gertrude's food on the top of the... There's, right. like, a, a couple of pieces left out there. And knocked a bunch of cans down. Uh, well... Oh, it's glowing. Let's pull out the button, oh, turn on. Yeah, my pump makes loud noises. It's alive. Yeah. <laughs> and the radiator fans are turned on. The two new ones. And there's a picture. We gotta get uh, the new precision too. Yeah. Now this first benchmark, I'm not gonna worry about. It. I just want to see if it. Make sure. Just throw it in like Borderlands or something, or I don't think Call of Duty has a benchmark. Yeah, Borderlands probably will be the easiest one. I'm gonna turn this off so we can actually see. Uh, let's see if how that affects our image quality. It doesn't really. It's a webcam. Yeah. All right, because we have these on still, mm -hmm. so it's just otherwise we can't actually see the. Got to take the picture for the Twitter quick. <coughs> of the non. Oh, we should probably update the video too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, YouTube Studio. Check out. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> I'm gonna go walk out to the other room and I'm gonna see Phyllis standing on top of the fridge. I guarantee it. Just chilling, <laughs> knocking over every can that's ever <laughs> for like stood. little snibbles of cat food. Yep, she jumped off. And Normally, stuff on top of the fridge is safe because they don't think it's safe to jump up there because it's so skinny. Yeah, she pretty much cleaned it up. Well, that's fine. At least Gertrude. The, the issue is not that Phyllis cleans up after Gertrude. It's, she it's that if Phyllis sees Gertrude's the food, she will bully Gertrude out of the way yep. and eat all of her food. And it's like, well, then the Gertrude needs to eat food, Phyllis. Phyllis is like, no! It's like the stream's gonna have to go check the Twitter for the pictures because uh, I don't think we're gonna get the webcam down there. To... No, not with the current setup. Normally I'd have a separate camera yeah. where we do this with. We gotta get a giant mirror and just mirror it. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's update. Take this. a picture on your phone and then hold your phone up to the stream camera. <laughs> Blurry because it won't focus yeah. because it's. Uh -huh. It's weird that you can see the, like, an LED below the EVGA logo. Right there. Yeah. Sticking out. It's kind of, uh... Well, it's probably just because you got an angle you're at. Yeah. And there's, there's LEDs down here, too. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that, though. So, like, on the, on the end of the cooler or it whatever. Looks so good. I actually really like that, like, mirror that turns into, like, a... This guy? Yeah. Yeah. It looks like gray, like their standard gray yeah. color normally. Yeah. And I, I like the always like that about EVGA. And it's I don't know why they put soft LED red too. lines on shit. But up until the like for the most part, they don't pull stupid stuff. You know, like yeah. Yeah, they were fine. Or, okay, okay. Yeah, EVGA. So. Because the Lord knows that takes eight years to open. Oh God, the 400 DPI mouse <laughs> on the 4K. Oh my God. Well, you know we only have a couple other mice you could use. Nope. Down here. Nope. This is the you, you have to use the Microsoft whatever. The Telemouse Optical. Yep. Um, OG guys, OG. Uh, you cannot cannot beat the Intelimouse Optical. Keyboard's not plugged in. It is. Unplugged. Plug into a different port. I saw it flash. Is it working now? Yep, it's working now. Um, did we bump? Hold on. Making sure that port works still? Yeah, I think we bumped. 
all the connector. Yeah, we're gonna have to go back in there. Yeah. Oh. Like somehow wasn't plugged in all the way. Uh. Squeeze said 400. Oh, I would find 400 DPI on oh, anything. I think, it, I think it also was. I'm on not a good tracking surface. Oh yeah. But yeah, he and then he just started using because the 4K was on the repair PC and he's used that a couple times. He's like. Okay, I can see how you might want 1600 on a 4K panel. Like, he's finally, like, finally admitting that maybe yeah. you might it, want something more than uh, 400 DPI. Like, I think I yeah. run, like, 800 or, like, 12, 1250 at home. Just because it's a little more precise. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay, now we got that going. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm already telling you. I was not getting smooth frame rates in the loading of the pre-video. Like, oh, uh, dude, did we never install the the driver? Nope. Uh, probably should do that. Yeah, we should probably do that. Here's your. By the way, guys, I have been lazy and I've not wired the internet through to the thing. It's gonna optimize those shaders. So we need to, and it's gonna optimize again when we clean install because we're gonna actually yeah. clean install your GP driver because it's a whole different. GPU. Yeah. I don't know if there's much more stream wise that's gonna be around value. You know what I mean? Can you just hang out with us stuff? You guys have questions, <laughs> you know? Even if it's not about this build. Maybe maybe ask us what we should like. we should change the title to podcasting about <laughs> <laughs> we can hear yeah, it. Yeah, it's already in the stream. Oh, God. There you go. Oh, boy. Um, Not the power button. I got your bunny ears on. Um, oh, your bunny ears are magnetic? Uh, yeah. That's kind of cool. Yeah. They're super nice. Um, Is that your pump? You know? Your GPU fan is not even your your VRM fan? Hmm? Not even spinning. <laughs> like even optimizing shaders and stuff. Yeah. That's crazy. Uh, this is definitely the most RGB I've ever built a system. And people probably on the pictures will think, oh, there's barely any RGB in there. And then we slap the side panel on there. <laughs> yeah. Because, like, you know, like on a normal system where the this is how it would look, the... I would want RGB back like on this face. Yeah. Where you're, I, I might not want it here, you know, but right here it would yeah. have, would add a little mm -hmm. bit of a, you know, but like putting a ring there would be pointless. But yeah, I'd like to point out this uh, this claptrap friend. Yeah. When I was uh, ooh, what are we? Oh my god. <laughs> I, at this point on the 1080, we were at uh, 20 frames a second in the menu, and then I think it went up to, like, 35. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're, you're in, uh... I have it on Steam, because I waited to buy it to yeah, Steam. Yeah, it's on Didn't Epic. Didn't you get it still? I no, I bought it, like, on release. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. If Squares would have, I probably would have. Mm -hmm. But, by the way, I still haven't played it, so... Yeah, there's that. Mm hmm I benchmarked it a bunch. Okay, hold on, let's see what this says. Oh! You want a 25% off coupon? Fine. Oh, print screen. Did it save a picture or do I have to do Windows print screen? I don't, I don't know Windows. if I'm green. Yeah, I don't know if I don't. Uh, is that Windows green print screen just okay. does the whole screen, so. Gotcha. Yeah, there you go. They, they're like, we saw you've been using it for a while. Fucking Fine. buy it. Fine. At thirty dollars, fifteen per twenty-five percent off. Yeah. Fine. Like what, twenty something, twenty-two? Yeah. 
we'll deal with that later. I just think it's funny that yeah. they're like, we, you've been using this for, uh... You should also turn the scaling up to 150, because I... No, no, this this is fine. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, Windows 100% on a 27-inch. I don't even know if that's 27-inch. This is 27-inch, yes. 27-inch 4K monitor, you literally can't see anything. Yeah, I run 125. Yeah, but we forget to take the picture, the video as well. Once, once I, that starts installing. I use this monitor as a. There you go. That's a mouse bungee now. Yep. The speaker is a mouse bungee. Mm -hmm. Guys, anything can be a mouse bungee. Here, I'll, you I'll, I'll scoot the laptop over a little bit. You if you one. if you believe in it. A little bit of mouse pad space. <laughs> um. There you go. You got one fifty. I actually got yeah, used to. I'd say give one twenty five a shot if you if you have it. Um, if you're close, because you're closer than I am to it. And you thought you could use 100 with how close yeah. you were. Like, I probably can, but, like, it's just unfun. Like, <laughs> I could get away with it, but the fact that I don't have to. Right. Give like, 125 a shot, seriously. Like, yeah. I, I feel like it's a nice balance between. Yeah. Um, and Windows has actually gotten really good. Like, you might have one or two programs that act funky. Mm-hmm. Um, but then on those, if you go in the launch properties, you can actually tell which scaling to use. One of them will work now. Like in the past, sometimes scaling just wouldn't work. Mm -hmm. One of those scaling will work. You just sometimes have to tell it like, you're picking the wrong one, Windows. Cut it out. Mm -hmm. Here, use, you know, wh you know, like whatever scaling. Yeah, I don't think you have the February 25th update. Uh, I guarantee you I don't. It's been a minute since I've got a new graphics Oh, it looks so much better now that I don't have like... I'm not pulling an entire like yeah. clump of cables from the back of the yeah, and you're not hitting uh, hitting into a laptop or yeah yeah. Still, one of the best mice ever. Apparently, Vaxi is working on making a version of this as a new mouse, and I'm like, I want it. And like I said, the only thing that you need to do is take instead of a button on the left and right, mm -hmm. button Too button, mm -hmm. please. Because I always bump that forward yeah, button. Yeah, I literally did it. Uh, earlier. Yeah. Like, it yeah. could be worse. You know what I mean? It could be worse. So they like, should also install the newest Precision X, right? No. You, can, you can't you just get it straight from there. And... <sighs> it's down in the Windows Store. Because I feel like that that's how it used to be, right? You could just select it as an option. No. No. You have to get it through EVGA. I always have had to. Oh. But the newest Precision X that we want for this card uses the Windows Game Bar. And I think you have to get that through the Windows Store now for that one. That's why we got you up to a new version of Windows mm -hmm. in order to use that. Because you can't have third-party game bar add-ons without being on a new version of Windows. And then in order to support 3080, you have to be on a new version of Windows. So we I do have it. game bar already like, yeah. installed. Yeah. So we got to figure out... I, I've never done it because mm -hmm. I'm not on a new version of Windows. Technically, the 2080 Ti supports it. But there's no benefit because they designed it for the 30 series. Mm -hmm. So there's zero, like, I don't gain, like, I don't gain more frames or more overclocking. And you saw my overclock. That thing is stable. I am not, yeah. like, I'm not even updating Precision X versions until it yells at me saying it's not supported or something. Driver should be, com driver should be completed as soon. Cool. Double click. Okay. I'm already in shock, though, that with without the newest driver... Borderlands was like 140 some frames in the menu. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, we got. Oh my God. Didn't I just restart and install? So I got. I got how out of date are you on these things? Uh, um, oh, there's Snapple right now, dude. Hitting the spot. Hitting the spot. Yeah. Just. Sometimes I have drinks like that. Well, that's installing. All right. Oh. I actually started a video like that one time, and I'm like, sorry about the... I just need the graphics driver, because I yeah. need for it. Agree, and then it should be... A custom, custom, and then check the box for clean install. Because we don't want to retain any of your 1080 yeah. settings. It's going to suck every time you play a game again, you're going to have to... Redo my settings, but let's be honest, <laughs> that's going to be fun. Like... And, and it's literally going to be press max. <laughs> yep. Maybe disable AA. Carball is... I've never, like... I ran Carball... Um, on quality, but or like on the mat, like yeah, full true 4K render with like everything turned down texture wise, and it worked, but it was still only running at like 
90 frames a second. I still like think there's something. And I might try that 1080 in, a, in another system yeah. I have. Because I think something's going... Like, that had yeah. less... I think it's, it might just be that it's thermal throttling. Because it's just fucking caked with dust. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll blow her out and give her... I, mean, I can probably stick it in dry bones over there. It's probably new enough to... Yeah. That's why it exists. And I mean, there's not a monitor in the way currently. So yeah, now's the time. opportune time to, yeah. to do it. I can tell you that CPU will hold it back. Mm -hmm. But... It, I should still probably get better frames than what you were getting. Yeah. Hopefully. All right. All right, guys. We're back. Probably the last um, physical episode or video. Uh, what flavor of Snapple? It is a mango tea. Yep. Mango tea. Mango tea Snapple. Featured in the uh, video for this. Totally. Mm -hmm. We're very refreshing, though. Not sponsored. Not sponsored. Not sponsored. Not always a big Snapple guy, but that, right now that thing's hitting the spot. So, all right. So here we have system is on. She booted up first try. Yep. Uh, Borderlands even launched, even without the new driver or anything. Uh, I should probably close Epic Games while we're installing a new driver. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Yeah, it's it's uninstalling the graphics driver as we're yeah trying to. All right. It's gonna restart. Um, I mean, I think this thing looks pretty freaking sick, if you ask me. Here, well, Obviously, the the uh, LEDs are not synced up yet, but chances are that everything's going to get turned to white on the cards. Yep, and, and there, we found out there is an LED on the butt yeah. here. Right or it there. just shines through. Or it shines through. Who knows? But I think that looks pretty freaking slick. Like, that, that fits. Like, I know we did our measurement, and it should fit, because, like, mm -hmm. we measured that it should fit. But we also thought it would fit with much less room. Mm -hmm. And then after unboxing it, I was like, oh god, is this going to fit? Mm -hmm. But this to me, with even though this is an MATX, reminds me a lot of a lot of people's ITX builds. Because of how tight it's packed, it's packed in there. Oh, and we're restarting. We got some, update, or some SSDs hidden up there. So, and what we're going to do is just some basic testing. And we want to see how loud the fans get. Um, because we do still have the NFF 12s here tied right to the GPU, which could be better because, mm -hmm. you know, like we want something to directly Direct cool them, but also if it gets super loud, we probably don't need it since we're fully water cooled. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're going to have to install precision to get like fan speeds and stuff properly and figure that out. But, uh, next time you'll see us, we'll hopefully have some benchmarks for you. Mm -hmm. Thumbs up. It looks, still looks pretty sick, even without a whole, like, the side panel and a whole bunch yeah. of RGB. And... Oh, we're going classic here, too, guys. Most of you probably will never, ever see that part. Uh, I don't even know how old that is. It's, it's quite old, though. And what that's for is straightening out the air to blow it more into the case. And that's exactly what we want on this rear fan. And it's a... Uh, it's one of those parts that I didn't have a use for, so, you know, Preston does, and he's actually going to use it. It's better than it's sitting in the back mm -hmm. room. Um, and what this is, is this is an NF uh, S12A rear intake with filtered, and we're just trying to chuck as much air as we can across the VRMs, the RAM, because otherwise it's really not going to get That's air pretty congested. Because it's been, there's a giant, like, brick yep. in the way. There's a giant brick in the way and there's radiators on the other two intakes. Yep, dump it in heat. So mm -hmm. we wanted some nice cool fresh air. Um, and it is a pain to clean that filter. Mm -hmm. But you get over it. Because then your system's not overheating. Alright. I like this little arcs thing. I wish it had better battery life and it had mm -hmm. continuous autofocus. And didn't overheat. Yeah, that too. It actually only overheats when you do a lot of autofocusing, okay. which makes sense because it didn't even have autofocus. It used to just when you pressed it, it would focus, and that's what you had until you pressed stop. Okay. Then they, on a firmware update, added, now the overheating after that, it used to overheat all the time before that, just whenever. Mm -hmm. After the firmware update, unless you're doing a lot of focusing, it you get like 20 minutes, mm -hmm. which is... Yeah, if you're just looking for clips and... Yeah. Um, I, have, I also shoot 4K, so... That also probably doesn't help. Right, if you use 1080p, or maybe, especially if you use, like, time-lapse, I've not tried that on here, you might not run into that at yeah. all. <laughs> yep, it really wants me to freaking buy it. Oh, my God. Uh, 
I mean, I will say for the price, and they also limit it to your house. Like, if you get the family one, which mm -hmm. I would recommend, like, you can just install it on anything you own, rather than just, like, one price difference is barely, um, difference. And it really does make a difference. Squares, when he saw this right away, too, because after I told him about that Core Zero thing, mm -hmm. he's like, wow, okay, that makes total sense, especially on those older systems that it affected worse, mm -hmm. where just hitting Core Zero just kills Turbo. And on certain gen, like, he was running uh, Ivy Bridge E, which is what's in the Home Theater Beer here right there. Um, it's not as bad as Haswell, because Haswell, you actually have to run an, an EXE to even turbo it. Um, like, it has to be running in the background the whole time. That's why sometimes my CPU isn't turboed, and it's like, oh, well, the turbo, Intel turbo tool crashed, which was the dumbest thing ever. Mm -hmm. But you couldn't OC those without without on turbo. So, freaking Taylor. <laughs> Squares is my biological dad. Yikes. You missed him yesterday because we weren't streaming. <laughs> yeah. You can catch him in the unboxing video. Smile. Yeah, we thought it'd be better to do the unboxing as of, or I did. Also, yeah. I didn't know I was doing stuff yesterday, so I didn't have anything set up. Mm -hmm. Or even just pushed out of the way like it is right now. Hey. Mm -hmm. Alright. Um, we good? Oh, we should probably check our uh, NVIDIA control panel and monitor settings mm -hmm. first. But I think otherwise we good. You tell him a chi oh, What's he doing in Chili's? It's COVID, man. What are you doing in Chili's? <laughs> Eating food, clearly. Uh, yeah, somebody was telling me you could disable <laughs> audio here. You can't for display port. <laughs> I go around. I'm just giving you crap. Uh... I don't know, I've never had good luck with chilies, personally. Like, they always fuck up my order, take forever, or, uh... K-Kona. <laughs> was it a chilies that I was drinking at well before I was... It was at one of the anime conventions. I'm trying to remember if it was a chilies or an Applebee's or something. But everybody with me was, like, plenty old enough to be 21, mm -hmm. so they're like, oh, what do you want? And I'm like, I guess I'll have this. <laughs> okay. Okay, I think, uh... And just never bothered. I was just, I, I mean, it's like I was trying to drink underage, but, like, it just happened, you know, like, not that I didn't drink back then, but it was just odd. Your Steam starts on startup? Are you are you a mad lad? Yeah. It's got updates queued, too. Jeez. Oh, dude, you gotta do some folding. Yeah. But it's just to, to see crank. what it happens. Like to crank. Yeah, dude, because I know how much my twenty eighty I did back mm -hmm. then. I my folding stuff I had to turn off just power issues mm -hmm. and and I've been moving systems around. Yeah. And I had one at, at Geek Squad obviously before that was always folding. Um but uh yeah, I don't work there anymore. And then apparently somebody reset the computer. Mm -hmm. And now everybody's complaining because they reset the computer that it doesn't have all the tools that I had on there on there. Mm-hmm. And they're like, oh, Squares, you can go get them. You, you hang out with Elliot all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, he's like, no. You guys reset the computer. I'm not doing that. It's your fault. Yep. Uh, they apparently came in one day. They were complaining about, oh, it, I it boots and there's just, it doesn't go to anything. It's like, he's, yeah, you deleted the entire hard drive. What? Oh, well, I thought I was formatting uh, the external one. Still means the other one doesn't turn on. Yep, yep. Classic Geek Squad. Classic yeah. Geek Squad. I don't even know who it was, but... These are people you trust with your data. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh, let's see if, if your current precision... I, I doubt it'll even recognize a, a 3080. Yeah. Kind of? Yeah, you got no power. Yeah. Adjustment. Like, we should be able to hit, like, 130-something, yeah. I think. So we're just not going to touch that. And actually, I'm going to close it so it doesn't... I try to do something and that it, it brick something. Not. Like, there should there is a new enough version of the standard precision that can do 30 series cards. But if you're doing that, you might as well just go to the new one that uses the game bar. Like, that's the at least mm -hmm. my thought, personally. Yeah. Where is your, uh, you know, the Epic Games? Oh, uh, you have to just search... Is it said my it's it's not saved to my C drive. Oh, and didn't create like a desktop shortcut no. or a start menu thingy? No, so it's uh I definitely should. 
Or I should just have it start on startup. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I really need to go through and, like, take things. Well, I mean, like, when we did this, we kind of, like, threw it together. Yeah. Why do you have a Cronus on here? Uh, I don't know. I think I, I think I had it because it was the, uh... Probably uninstall that. Yeah, because I've had a lot of hits from a Cronus running. Okay. Like, like, stutters and stuff it was causing. Yeah, true yeah. image OEM. It probably came from your SSDs, and then it ended up not working. Yeah. And I think you just brought it here. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I tried cloning them, but it needed to be, like... Yeah, here's, here's the catch-22 on this whole cloning nonsense. Mm -hmm. The Samsung software does this, too. You can clone a drive... But it can't be the current activated active operating system because it runs in Windows. Yeah. What do you think I'm fucking doing? Mm -hmm. I want to clone the boot drive mm -hmm. to a new boot drive. Or like when you're doing a lot of those hard drive to SSDs. So smooth. Oh, we're down to two viewers. Probably because of we stopped actually doing interesting mm -hmm. things. And we optimize the shaders again. Yeah, because we bopped out the... Uh... And then we turn it to ultra, and then we turn it to run. Did you still have my settings on there? Uh, it would have, but it probably got bopped with the yeah. new yeah. driver, if I had to guess. But if not, I have uh, both of the both of the old settings saved. You can save them? Well, not saved, but like the, uh, the previous benchmark results saved. Ah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I think it was like 17 on max. Because, like, that's what games need to add, is they need to add the ability to for you to save a preset. Like mm -hmm. a custom, like custom yeah. one, custom two, custom... I mean, naming them would be nice, too. Mm -hmm. But, you know, like, even if... It, uh, like, you know, kind of like your profiles and overclocking. Yeah. This is gonna be sick. I'm so stoked. I feel like it's building shaders a heck of a lot faster. Yep. <laughs> Probably when it has the right driver and... Can't wait to go to Call of Duty and have to wait again. I definitely hear air coming through those, yeah. but not like fan because they're yeah. nice knock twists. Yeah. Um, and like when the and when the side panels, are I right, hear more pump down. than I hear. I think that's and we hear a lot more too because the side panels are off. So and it's the open part is also facing at us, yeah, with metal on the sides focusing yeah. it like. Literally wrapping it. We could put like a megaphone on it and we could probably hear it real good. 126. Nice. Nice. 122.9. Signing into the me. Okay. Yeah, there definitely was frame drop there, but. And we're only at 80, but. Only at 80. <laughs> Visuals, uh, uh, V-Sync off, 100%, unlimited, HUD scale, 105, that's my setting, yeah. Um, you don't need it. Yeah, because I can't scroll, because it... Uh, go over to the next settings, because those will yep. look. Um, yeah, what? this is... That was my setting? Yeah, this is yours. You look, it remembered. High, high foliage, medium volumetric. Yep, that, that looks exactly it. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's maxed. Minus AA, yeah. no AA, no motion blur. If you guys want to do this thing, uh, I haven't posted to my uh, Discord. Discord. Um, oop, we want that on. Uh, so we actually know what stats we have. But it's basically ultra, no AA, no motion blur, and then foliage on high, which is one step down, and volumetric fog on medium, which is one, one step, step down. down. Um. And you want that because apparently those just like it's in visuals. It's the last menu in visuals. Oh, uh, C. Yeah, especially the foliage. It like starts rendering individual Report blades of grass. Okay, so you last did for reference, guys. He last did an average this of twenty-four point yeah. nine one, with an average millisecond of forty point one four, mm -hmm. which I could have told you because the 20, 20 FPS is forty millisecond. Uh, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. What that also says, though, is it's pretty consistent. Even on your 1080, you were getting yeah. consistent frames. Yeah. Because they weren't like. Yeah. Like when you, because you can a lot of times get really high frame rates. But bad. But bad frame time. So like grouped, it's like here's five frames. Skip. Very eight frames. Yeah, here's very fast five frames. Yes. Yep. 
which you don't want. That that's what would happen with SLI because it would go frame frame skip frame frame skip frame frame. Yeah. <laughs> this was literally watching a slideshow. What was I doing? Seventy yeah. two. I think I averaged in this thing. Something yeah. like that. Yeah, and then yours is overclocked as well. Oh yeah. And oh yeah. I'm just saying for reference, because I am actually yeah. truly, really surprised, like interested in what, because everybody gives 28 Ti like 30 is so much better. I'm like, but I have a really low yeah. overclocked one. Yeah. Like, say if I, I mean, bought 30, this, would it really be that much better? A 30 percent overclock is really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, dude, I was I was fucking just over the fucking moon. Um, overclocking guys, when I did my 28 Ti, I did a f Gamers Nexus, um, Jace Two Cents is what I was comparing against. And then watching a bunch of stuff from DeBauer. And apparently on the 20 series cards, you want memory speed. So normally when you overclock, you push core clock, like separately, just core clock. And you push just memory. And then you have to balance the two between, like, do I want to focus on core speed or memory speed? Apparently the 20 series, you just want to pump as much. Mm -hmm. And I have, like, 8,200 megahertz on my, like, it's plus, like, 1,200, which is just mad, apparently. Was pushing faster memory than either of them were. I'm not saying I'm LN2. Like, I, I'm water cooling, and they were doing, like, I think in some cases even chilled yeah. water. And I'm hitting them better clocks than they were on chilled in some cases. So I got a good chip. Now, you guys also have to remember my 2080 Ti, the first one, I had the worst one Gamers Nexus could test. So maybe that's a bit of a. Like, maybe it's like, oh, I kind of feel bad. Um. <laughs> This is where I'm pretty smooth, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, we gotta go desktop, don't we? You can, well, you can see the just general, the quick. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, 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 cancel my canceling. See, see. Sixty-nine point nice. three one versus fourteen point four three. Mm -hmm. I I want to do uh. Uh, what time spy? Yeah. Kitty. Hey, pictures. How are you? Are you good? And we can do standard time spy, I think, right? Yeah. Did you ever do superposition? No, I don't okay. think I had it because it, I don't have the full version. It's a big chunky. I don't have the full version of superposition, which sucks. I need to buy it at some point. And then we could do the 4K fire strike. Doesn't um, really do a whole lot, but he's in the Steam that should already be open. Um, it's not. Uh, oh, I bet it opened Steam because it was open when I restarted last. I don't know, dude. It might have closed the two when we did a bunch of the GPU stuff. Yeah. Which fan here is pumping? You can hear it. Like, it's... it's. Mm -hmm. Your VRM fan is off. Kitty. Again. Kitty. Kitty. She's... She's... She's toasty. Yeah. She's toasty. Which ones we actually have access to? Uh, we don't have Extreme, which is the 4K. We do have access to 4K Firestrike, so yeah, we'll do one of each. And we can't uncheck that demo because you don't have payload. Mm -hmm. Just but, keep an eye on the Humble Bundle. But the uh, it's literally five, like when it goes on sale, it's five bucks. Yeah. Also, the so. demo on uh, <laughs> on these last time took forever because when you have no frames because <laughs> mm, it's time based mm. the demo is time based and it's not uh, mm -hmm. like the once you get in the benchmark it's, it's frame based mm -hmm. or scene based or you know not uh, yeah. 
or no, I should say the demo is frame based, mm -hmm. whereas the benchmark, unless you start going frame or seconds per frame, is uh, it should take the same amount of time every time. Mm -hmm. Versus the demo will literally be how long it takes to run all of the frames. Little ball. Oh yeah. That's a Oh, the guys on stream, man, very cute, yeah. I can't see her, though. I know. Watch some of the Pokemon polls video. She gets in, she gets in some of those. Hamlet's in a lot of those. Yeah, well, Hamlet's in just everything. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. It's actually kind of smooth. Yeah? Are you cute? Yeah. You're cute, John. Yeah. I'm trying to remember what the time spy one that I score that I got. It was like 5,000 or something like that. Yeah, you were even below like average for like 10. Yeah, or, or yeah I think the average was like 8,000. So far, I'm very happy with my 2080i. Like, I'm not saying like this, if we mm -hmm. probably throw the OC switch. I'm gonna. We want to update the BIOS and uninstall the current precision first. Mm -hmm. um, it'll go more because I don't think it's boosting as high as it could. Yeah, right I now. think this is just base clock. Yep, just chilling. But I'm still happy that like my 2080 Ti overclock can be yeah. the base clock 3080. Yeah, like that's. Yeah, like anybody who's like, it, it's it goes all the way back to like the card shaming that was happening at the start where it was like, oh, and people were selling their 2080 Ti's to buy 3080s. Yeah, in my brain now it makes. Zero, like, not only yeah. I know from my own experience, because I didn't see yeah. people comparing, like, overclock 2080Is versus yeah. stock 3080s, because nobody yeah. could even get 3080s. That's the thing, yeah. is like, or if they get a 3080, it'd be the reference one, which, of course, unless you water block it, overclock's like a potato. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, because the 2080Ti, you have to remember, the best PCB was actually the reference one, because yeah. you got the good chip. With yeah. third party, unless you bought, like, a kingpin or something, you were not guaranteed. Like, maybe some of the FTWs were, mm -hmm. but there were, like, certain cards that were guaranteed that better chip that NVIDIA had, whereas if you just bought the re like the Founders reference card, um, you got the better chip. You know, like, you just... Mm -hmm. Or you're like me, and you got it on launch, you got a broken one, like... <laughs> a little salty about that stuff. I pushed my build back another mm -hmm. three months. Mm -hmm. I mean, I still took another three months after that to finish it, but... Actually, into the real tests now. Yep, yep. If these are running much faster than they probably need to be. Yep. Well, we'll find out. I don't know what the temps on the card are, so. Yeah. What do we have frames right now? 81. Oh, it's better than the 12 I got before. <laughs> 104. Mm -hmm. Slightly better. Yeah. Okay. Like, this is 100% like a 3 plus time increase in most applications, I think. Yeah, well, we were looking at what what a uh, 2080 Ti was about 2x better, mm -hmm. give or take. You said this isn't metal. Top's definitely metal no, still. No. Yeah, I, I forgot. The, pla the plastic is the bottle. And the tie. It was just one thing changed, and yeah, it was a plastic bottle. So, like, this is... Definitely magnet. Um, unless they've developed magnetic, <laughs> magnetic They have magnetic metal, yes, but they brought it with... Magnetic plastics. Yeah, or magnetic plastics, they embed it with metal, though. Yeah. Ferris would technically yeah. be the correct term, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh, you can see the kitty. I no, you can't anymore. Graphics test 2! Uh, but yeah, so 2080i is roughly two times as fast as a 1080, and then you have minimum 15% over a 1080, or sorry, 2080. 2080 Ti. 3080 stock has minimum 15%, if not, what, 25 we saw in some cases, mm -hmm. more than a 2080 Ti. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is going to be, especially if your 1080 was not performing the way it should have been. Yeah. Um, this is the multiple time X increase in yeah. performance. Like, 
Yeah, because that's just like benchmarks, like synthetic benchmark yep. scores, which don't directly relate. Usually. usually are a higher percentage. Sometimes they're not though. Sometimes they're lower, depending on what your. Get you. Yeah, like we're getting a hundred something here. Let's see. I don't think you're getting a hundred something uh, at that. Time. I don't think I have seen a hundred on a benchmark in a hot minute. At four K, you gotta remember, guys, we yeah. are running four K. Yeah. So, well, I guess time, I mean, time is, spy is. But is it, it has to be upscaled, right? Or it, well, no, time spy. No matter what monitor, it oh, will. Okay. Well, you have to run it at least like you couldn't. I don't think you can run the four K on a ten eighty p. Yeah. You can do the other way, like ten eighty p on four K, mm -hmm. and it still just runs ten eighty p. But uh, say for for Borderlands, that was four K benchmarks. Like yeah. my settings, um, which you'll easily be able to play now unless you want to try and get more FPS out of it. I mean, you some other stuff. But like if I want to run that at one hundred forty four, I can drop a couple of settings that are more intensive, probably. Yep, yep. Like drop drop probably Four every eight. start on high probably, mm -hmm. and turn things up maybe. Yeah, or like I would probably keep the same settings, just high everything. Yeah, and maybe knock down the foliage and the. Yeah. One more, like one more on each of those, but because everything's on ultra. Yeah. And I did, I did create that profile when I was running f uh, only a 4K 60 panel, like this oh, one is. We got the cat going through the minefield again. <sighs> There's like an open side on the other side yeah. of the. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Okay, okay. Graphic score of 14277. And a CPU score of eleven seven fifty seven. Um, I think it's a little bit better. Uh, yeah, there's uh, not enough data for <laughs> compared to average. Oh, did I not save it? Save it. Should be able to see last run, right? The results are up in the right corner. Uh, here you go. Results. There you go. Uh, Windows key. Oh, it's not Windows key on this one. I forgot. Windows key. Print screen. Yeah. I'm um, not a thousand percent sure what that saves. It just goes in the pictures screenshots. Okay. By like, because Windows finally added the ability to just save a picture. Yeah. I know, right? Like, and I asked them, "Hey, can you add old Windows print screen for saving a window?" And they're like, "No, you yeah. can use the Xbox game bar to do that." I'm like, "Why? Why must I do that?" <laughs> right? Like, like. Well, because we already built a feature over there. I'm like, move it. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a different team. Because I was talking to me on Twitter, like one of them, Microsoft devs on Twitter about that. And I'm like, okay, whatever. Just be aware. It's something I want. Like, mm -hmm. I want to be able to just. I love Windows print screen. Great, because I can save it, save directly to a file. But yeah. you need to make it work. Because yeah. all that does is every monitor. So every time it takes it, it's every single what's ever on everything. Mm -hmm. Which is kind of annoying. Yep. Yeah. Ha. You can turn that one off. I think you had 3D Mark, but yours is so old. Mm -hmm. Like the other ones weren't out. Yeah. Yet. Mm -hmm. And I didn't buy the DLC. Yep. Yep. Or you know, <laughs> the season like, pass. You know how I got the got the DLC is I just bought the the same thing again, but newer, and then put the code in, and it just unlocked the rest of them. Because you like you can't ever get the DLC on sale yeah. or like. It's, but you can just go to Humble Bundle and it's like, oh, it's buy $5. The new, buy the new one that has yeah. all of them. Yeah, so I just put the code on for all of them, and it's like, mm -hmm. so I think technically I probably have three or four copies of, like, OG Firestrike. You know, like the, the yeah. old, like the one that's free now, essentially. Because, yeah. yeah, you shouldn't be able to run it without demo, without, like, not having a paid mm -hmm. version. Yeah, this is the 4K Firestrike, right? Yeah, I don't think you could have done 4K Firestrike with the free version either, because it only does the base... Uh, yeah, yeah. So you, yeah, you at some point, we probably got you 3D Mark Fire Strike mm -hmm. when that was like, there wasn't Time Spy, there yeah. wasn't Cloud Gate, there wasn't, wasn't Port Royal. Port Royal. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I can play Ray Traced Minecraft now. Oh, baby. Exciting stuff. Be aware that doesn't support mods. I mean, well, it supports Ray Traced Minecraft mods. Yeah. But not like normal yeah. mods. Mm hmm. I think they're actually discontinuing the old version. They they like gave a date now where like you you will have to use the like like you can new... go back and and probably run launchers, but it's right. Not they're not going to distribute and not update the new yeah. like the Java based yeah it's not potato because it's a potato and mm -hmm. 
I think they should just make the ray the, uh, ray traced Minecraft the default one. Yeah. Again, this I think we were averaging like twelve frames a second. Thirty three. Like, yeah, this is like cinematic. Like you could watch it, like play like a one say like a story based, you know. Detroit becoming human oh, and I or whatever. I was gonna like look in Hangouts and like if I message you these, but we were just talking, mm -hmm. so I would have to go up to my system upstairs and actually look at mm -hmm. what my scores were. I think your time spy score might have been higher than me though. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Because I think your 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 car definitely has more like grunt. Yeah, like it has more. Raw processing power, but. especially once you start getting into RTX and yeah, um, that like the, or like the, you should have because you have the second gen uh, Tens, DLSS but, yeah. in there, and, so uh, like that, it should be even better at mm -hmm. doing that. God, looks so bottle cool. bounces and smashes something. Dude, we could have totally RGB. Do we have enough room to RGB those up? Yep. <laughs> I don't think we have any more spots, though, on the RGB controller. No, no. And we already burned out the one on the motherboard we found out. That's mm -hmm. probably why it could only go so far. Mm -hmm. Nope. They should just, you know... They Maybe should document just, that They stuff? should just also let me, like, say, you know, power with SATA and then control it off of the motherboard. I don't see why that shouldn't be possible. I agree. This was two your thousand. Your, your physics score because your your new CPU is yeah. just like, yeah, insane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this was three thousand on the ten eighty. All right, I'm going to go look at my scores upstairs. Mm -hmm. Um, go find your BIOS for another board. <laughs> and maybe look up how to get the new precision. Yeah. Find it in the game bar. Smile. Yeah, there's. You're gonna have to uninstall the current one for sure. I think it's like technically beta too, because you know yeah. every time you buy a new graphics card, EVGA can't have it developed. Well, it's because they don't give the cards. It's so dumb. Yeah, I understand Nvidia wants to play stuff close to their chest, but they apparently like play close enough chest that like, like besides Jensen, until like less than an hour beforehand, like, even people at NVIDIA don't know how much they're selling it for. Like, they might have an idea. Like a range. Yeah, like 400 to 600 450 to $600, but they don't know, like, is it going to be 529 Is it going to be 567 Is it going to be... $1? Yeah, like... Uh, yeah, see, $1 for gamers, $10,000 for miners. There you go, problem solved. Same amount of profit, mm -hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Seven graphics. Yep. Let's see. I'll go check what mine are. Ugh. Ugh. I'm an old man. Yeah. Time to go find BIOS. I think one of my legs fell asleep too. Probably. More than likely. Yep. Old man Elliot. Scoot in. How's it going, Gertrude?
looks like he needed to open up his 3D mark to figure out where he was at.
Not sure what's taking him so long to get a couple benchmark scores, unless he had to rerun them.
Yeah, we're sitting at like 33, 34 C in the middle of a, the Time Spy demo. Pretty good. By pretty good, I mean very good. computer is working we're just trying to see what benchmarks are before uh, going in and like messing with stuff in precision X I haven't seen it go above 36 C running some benchmarks here so pretty sweet Song. Yeah. And I also took screen I mean post them into you found the new one? Yeah. But I don't know if it's it looks like it's just like a monitor. Like a hardware. They probably still need to get the new base precision next time. Yeah. Yeah. Which you can't get through Steam now. Why why I would want to do that? I mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm hmm You know what I mean? Like Yep. But yeah, all my benchmarks I think I'm still beating you. Yeah. Stock here. 
which I am pumped about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this like is I mean, not not sad for you, but you, like like yeah, no, I mean that's great. OC twenty ATI beats the stock thirty eighty. We just gotta no, flip no, that no. OC switch, install it precision, yeah. take all the sliders, and go. Bah, 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 by, the way, bah, bah. by the way, like I, that fan didn't turn on once during that entire uh, thing because uh, the max temp was thirty six. That's good. Even mm -hmm. on my, look, I hit about forty four. If I leave, oh, like if I let uh, benchmarks a loop on my GPU. Time spy, you got me right now by about 500. What's your. Uh, um, yeah, you want to check the graphics specific. So it's uh, 14, 361, and 14, 216. So you actually got me just. 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 Like a, yeah, yeah. <sighs> On the graphics side, but just overall. It's just more stable, I'd assume. Uh, what's, what, and what's yours on. Uh, I'll have to look up the. That's just pictures, uh, screenshots, I believe. Um, fire strike. Eight nine nine seven. <laughs> what? That must have been the last, like yeah. a resize the weird last time you did. So yeah, you you actually beat me just 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 by a hair. On what one? On here, okay, so eight, I'm 8997. You're 9157. Oh, yeah, that's right. Or no, this is, no, this is, this this is me. Is so I beat you by a hair on the old... That makes sense. Fire Strike's older. older benchmark. Yeah. So that, I mean, like, we're close. Yeah. You you stock versus... So we should actually see a decent chunk mm -hmm. of improvement once we flip that switch. Yep. And get the new Precision X going. Yep. And Just increase those sliders, baby. Yeah. Crank her up. Should I post the screenshots? Yeah, uh, you might want to crop them. Because they're probably, or, okay. you know, just down to just the yeah. square part, real quick. Yeah, here no. and you know. You should just be able to draw a little box around it and then hit crop. I think it's control Y. Or, yeah, whatever. But, there you go. Control S and name it something or just hit enter and I'll overwrite it. Replace, yes. Okay. And then um, at least we'll be able to figure out like a percentage increase in performance too for you. You know, like here dummies, I know you don't know how to build a custom desktop, but you built a pre-built, install precision or whatever thing that you have, and just slide these sliders up. You know what I mean? Like and you here's Here's a free 15% frames, you know, just like, or 10% frames or whatever it is. Oh, and I did take screenshots of my COD settings for you, so you have a, something to start out with. I think you probably will end up wanting to tweak it more for FPS than, you know, because mine's like 120 to 140-ish, you know. Now with G-Sync on, that's not bad. But you may be more prone to, uh, you know, wanting a... Uh, yeah, full 144. And realistically, if you want to use G Sync, you shouldn't aim for 140. Aim for like 140, because you want to stay under your refresh rate. Just yeah, you know, if you're planning on using G Sync, because otherwise you get tearing as soon as you hit it. That's his with dual 1080s overclock. Okay. Yeah. So he's like, dude, your 20 ATI is beating my tool 1080s overclock, and I'm like, yep, yeah, that should be about where my 20 ATI is. Yeah. yeah and the graphics score. Okay. All right. So, what do we need to do uh, yet? Precision X. I'll probably just uninstall and clean install. Yeah, that's what I, I did. I guess. Is that just something I can uninstall from Windows? Yep, yeah, it is uninstall from Windows. Um, it's programs and features. Programs. Search. Uh, there we go. So the game bar one doesn't have like controls in it. It's just like a overlay. You're thinking? Yeah, it didn't look like it had any. Hey, but if it's a better overlay, then like I can I can change. I can't change fan speed, but place it on auto. But I can. Yeah. Manually change fan speed. 
But it is in beta. I have a feeling that eventually this is. They'll be... try to get everything on here that we can do. Yeah. At least the overlay wise, that should be better than the old here school. We can make but... sure that that fan is actually working. She's yep. spinning. Oh, she's spinning. <laughs> I would leave her on auto though, because yeah. And that's part of the reason why I get the FTW three for those still in the stream. Mm -hmm. Is uh, oh, is the pooter working? Yes. I don't yeah, know when that last was. was. A while ago. Well, yeah. it's working. Yeah. We got four viewers now. Yeah. Awesome. Watching um, the the wall and my yeah. cat occasionally do do one of these. Well, here's a flying Pikachu. There you go. Um, <laughs> dude, he's dope. Uh, yep. Finish. Dude, I need surfing Pikachu next. Hook me up, guys. Okay, so no, I think I'm just going to big restart since I uninstalled that. Yep, yep. And we'll have to get the you have to go to EBGA and actually sign into your account, otherwise they won't give you because if they don't acknowledge you have a card, they won't let you download it. So okay, I'm gonna have to probably look up my password for that if I had to guess because I'm not very good at passwords. Message from the ding dong. <laughs> Don't enter power saving. Stop it. Stop with this 25% off coupon code. Coupon code. Yeah, you're edging me out just slightly in the newer benchmark, and I got you on the older one, which makes sense. They're optimized for different different things. Oh, I also have the found the BIOS. Oh, okay. What is it? Yep, or size, that is the one we were waiting for. Squares doesn't even have that one yet for his board. So that is like literally, not saying you won't want to update your BIOS in the future, but like we need that one mm -hmm. to fully unlock the... Mm -hmm. Potential. Yep, yep. And I don't know, like, how, like, I don't know if there's anything that actually uses resizable bar for 30 series yet, or if that's even like fully technically supported yet, but, you know. Oh, so that means we need a flash drive, don't we? Oh, you know what, you know what, Preston? Good old Ducati. Mm-hmm. Best, best flash drive ever, guys. SanDisk Ducati. Yes, it looks like a motorcycle. Four gigs. Precision for Steam. Precision no, no. for Game Bar. You already got that one, right? Yeah, I think so. I think it's for Uber Media. Yeah. yeah, so hit back and... Features, uh, fan speed control, temperature, frequency, and frame rate monitoring. Well, yeah, that's... Because, you know, like, the other frame rate monitoring is kind of ass. So if you can add that to Game Bar, you know... Mooski, that's a... Oh, is it a whole lot more than whole nine frames? Whole nine f from is from from is it? From is it? From is it? French frames are French frames like bigger or smaller than? Okay, and then I go to the downloads. I will control. I mean, we said we were gonna get like five or six, so nine nine's pretty good, right? Yeah, it's better than what we. You just not have it save everything directly to your downloads? I mean, it is in my downloads, but I don't want to run it. Oh, gotcha. It. Um, Sounds it. Oh, okay, I got you. Cause it was just asking you before where I wanted to. See, I don't even know why it's in a zip, right? Like, because it's, it's just the, the file. DMC, yeah. I agree. Just LED sync setup, probably. Yeah, you're going to need because you have LEDs. Fuck it. <laughs> I agree. Because I'm going to have to run precision. I mean, it's going to have to run because of the... Yeah, that, see, that's why I don't mind, like... Oh, oh, what happened here? Error process. 
Uh, Error opening file. It's that means it's running. Hit abort. Did you uninstall it without stopping the program from running? Probably. Uh, check down here. Uh, did you you have me restart it since I'm installing, right? Yeah. Uh, go to the files then. Look up uh, you know, like C yeah. program files. It should just be standard, I think. I don't know. UGA, it's up there. No, there's still stuff here. Huh. It's not running though on the taskbar, yeah. is it? I don't think so. I didn't see it. No. Oh, you have the game bar running though. Uninstall the game bar once. Okay. It might it might have installed like a full version, a smaller full version of Precision. Yeah. Just to. Um, I think I can do that from. The... Or it's just, it should just be in apps, like settings apps. Uninstall. There you go. I have to restart again here. I have a feeling that that's actually running like a full version of Precision yeah, just to gain the background. Run. Yep, just and this is just where it's displaying. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, So, yeah, restart again. Otherwise, we can manually bop those files or at least just rename the folder temporarily or something. Yeah. I have a feeling when we uninstall it, otherwise, we might have not stopped the program from running. Mm -hmm. Might have corrupted some stuff. So maybe yeah. I'm interested. So like it, it uninstalled the program, but it was Not still the running. Files yeah, they were files. being used. Yeah. Gotta love that. It's like Elliot's doing his job. Mm -hmm. You know it's crazy when that computer makes that laptop would make way more noise than. Uh... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Still like this thing. It gets a little loud. It gets hot in your lap, too. Like, if you're actually, like, doing things with the GPU. But, it, that, and a lot of people complain about that. Like, oh, it, it, you know, it doesn't have, an, like, and technically, because it's in such a small package, it doesn't have as much performance if you take those same parts and put them in a bigger package because of thermals and stuff. Mm -hmm. But the whole point of fitting that is, is in there with Type-C powered in an Ultrabook. Like, that fits in my camera bag. Mm -hmm. Not my backpack. My camera bag. Mm -hmm. Like, that's what I wanted. And yet, it has a GPU. It has a quad-core CPU. You know? Like, and I can understand. If you were to get person that video edits all day. Hey, hey, what are you doing launching X1? I just saw it pop up. <laughs> is, it, is it down in the task for that? No, I think it's just running in the background. And, like, I think it's just running in the background, but the actual, like, program, you know, like, that actual interface is isn't Because it was still running. Yeah. We uninstalled so the interface, we but not like, the... Services. This. Yep, yeah, and then dig top through. Top. Try just ending the services. That would probably fix it. And then installing over the top. You know, mm -hmm. look for like precision, EVGA something or precision something. Because I saw it pop up. How many Steam things were running? My God, did you see that? Go up, go up, go up. Well, now you see why you don't have Steam launching on startup. <laughs> Let's uh, uh, power. <laughs> I might have done the Nate, and it might have uninstalled, like a one that was just chilling in my backups, like when I backed up my. Uh... Let me sit down and look at it. I'll see um, what I can... Because that's... Is it still in the... In the program? No, because you searching would have found it. And no, it, it uninstalled from apps, to my knowledge. But That's just the apps button. Wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah, giant apps button there, mm -hmm. Preston. Yeah, no. Mm -hmm. Oh, EVGA wants me. It, yeah, let me sit down for two seconds and I'll see. It's probably still running in the background. Yep, somewhere, somehow. Um, I broke it. Oops, all right, shit happens. I feel like I should move this over to the left more at some point. Gertrude, what did you do? It's all your fault. Um, all right, so where'd you stick that thing that you were running with the installer? Um, C10? It was, yeah, yeah, C10. See if it yells at us again. Oh, 
So it is definitely still running. That's the ins I had this the other day on my desktop, on my mm -hmm. home theater PC with uh, Mute Player Classic. Where it's and like I, Phantom running. And it's not actually running. Like, I could not find it anywhere. And then yeah. I said, I just want to, it was last night. And I was like, you know what, fuck it. I just want to watch the anime. So I just played it with whatever, you know, like, was, was playing. I just delete the folder. That work, right? That's... Yes. See, it will. Right. Here we go. Details is what I was looking for. Mm -hmm. This is. Alright. Now, if we go with. I can't expand that further. Okay. Let's do abort. And cancel. Startup list. Uh, it should be. Hmm. No, no. Yeah, you got a bunch of shit right sir. Um, open services. The way we fix this is put into um, the safe mode. Safe mode. Rename. I'm not gonna delete the one. I'm just gonna rename it. Like put a mm -hmm. dash in front temporarily mm -hmm. or something. And then um, try to install. Try it from to there. install it over top, and hopefully that fixes the services too. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's probably system restore. Yeah. See, so we can actually get it back running, and then make sure it's closed. And otherwise, I'm gonna have to dig through. Yeah, I was hoping it was just going to be like the, the bar, but no, that seems to be standalone, which hopefully it would be because it's an app, not a... Mm -hmm. uh, whatever you want to call it. Uh, oh, here, troubleshoot. You're going to have to put your... Oh, not continue. Oh, oh hmm. well, you can get into safe mode I because I don't know your password anyway. Oh, I don't know if it has a password. We don't know. Okay. I don't think it has a password. So you should have a password, even if it's something that like is super simple, mm -hmm. because otherwise weird stuff happens. Because a lot of things will not accept like no password as a password. Like when password field, you just hit enter. Um, like I just toss a pin on it for here, mm -hmm. you know. Because like file sharing and stuff too gets kind of weird. Like say if you did want to access your desktop from your phone. A lot of programs will just be like, no. Yeah, it's not password protected. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because it clearly is starting. Yeah, it's, uh, but it's, I, we don't know where it's going because we did uninstall the UI, I think, is yeah. the issue. Yeah, so it's like running in the background without any, like, functional... Yeah, if we just rename the folder, that it, it, it won't be able to find the EXE to run, yeah. is my hope. Yeah. Um, it's just, what, shift? Hold left shift, and then click restart. I was in the menu, and I was doing great until no, I didn't hit down. And restart. And yeah, and then enter. I just hit enter. Mm -hmm. Like boot options or not boot options. It's troubleshoot. Advanced. Um, it's just like startup repair, right? Or, yeah. 
No, it is start settings, yes. And then that's see your safe mode's in there, and then it'll ask you to uh, restart into it. Sorry, I gotta check check my Pokemon sources here. Yeah, that's supposed to be fifty bucks. And this is prime. Like so it's like actual like what they're actually selling for, not mm -hmm. third party not which is nuts. Mm-hmm. Like these two, these finally got shipped out, right? And they're now showing up on Amazon Warehouse. Um, they were like probably 25 I've seen show up on Amazon Warehouse. Somehow I don't think 25 tins. Uh, Four is what you want. Because we don't need networking in this case, I don't think. Yeah, because we already have the, the file. It looks beautiful. All right. Preston's just breaking things. Yep. Why can't it just work? So, we're just going to try to install it right now. Or no, no, go to C, and then go to Program Files. And I, I, I'd actually just rename the whole EVGA folder. Just put a dash in front of the EVGA. And then look in x86, just to make sure there's nothing in there. Uh, is there an EVGA folder there? Yeah. Yeah, put a dash in front of... What is that? I don't know. Zero. I don't know, but we're just gonna... Because we shouldn't have anything EVGA still installed, you know? Yeah. Well, you know, like, once it doesn't look for those or need those, those, we can just delete the folders, yeah. Even like if it, even if it, even if we get an error on startup saying, couldn't find this file to run, yeah. great, it's at least not running. Yeah. Um, so now am I running this? No, no, now restart, because you won't oh. let you install it in safe mode. Gotcha, so. Because it needs other services that aren't running. Here's a beast of an adapter, guys. This came with my uh, 20 ATI because it doesn't have a DVI. There you go. In case you need to go display port to, to DVI. You know, because we don't have, you know, it doesn't have a port anymore the 20 ATI. Or your 30 ATI. You see, they didn't ship yours with one anymore? Mm -hmm. This was still a concern, apparently, with 20 ATI that, oh, you might have plug in a DVI monitor. I think I think if you bought a twenty ATI and it were it you had a DVI monitor, it's just time to get a new monitor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you could afford a twenty, 20 ATI, ATI yep. you probably shouldn't be running a DVI monitor. Maybe I guess if you had it as your absolute like fourth monitor or whatever. <sighs> Even it because okay I love the th they, there was twenty five sixty by sixteen hundred. Just waiting for this or restart. Wait, it just hit restart anyway. There, there you go. 2560 by 1630 inch panels. Mm, some of my favorite monitors ever. But even those are like, they're older than my 24, my oldest Asus. Mm -hmm. So they're that, there's no way they're color accurate anymore, you know? That's not the one I wanted. Yeah, yeah you want that. Uh, it's Chrome. Because all my, all my website stuff's in Chrome because YouTube. Oh, by the way, the video. Crap, I need to go up and do that real quick. Um, oh, once we get this going again, I will. Uh, the uh, the video failed to process. It stopped at 99% and failed to process. So I gotta re upload it. Oh, yeah. I see what, how this might work. Is because, yeah, it's gonna look for the file path, and the file path will be different. Correct. Yep, and I'll probably throw an error, but we don't care. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, the reinstall will fix the error. I didn't see it pop up. I didn't see it throw an area. Might still be trying. God, Razor's such a fatty. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't always remember how fat Razor software is until I have to restart, yeah. Yeah, I didn't see it pop up, so. Alright, well, try and install the new one. Hopefully it's not running this time, you know? Yeah. That's the thing we're preventing is... Because remember there's that auto-run check mark in there? Mm -hmm. I bet you that's, that shit starts as a service. So, but if the files aren't in the right spot, it can't start as a service, hopefully. Yay! We outsmarted ourselves after <laughs> outsmarting ourselves. Get aft. Yeah. Install for LED sync. Click install. Enjoy it. You add a pause there for a second because it, was, it looked like it was hanging initially. Sure, finish. Run that. Oh, yeah. Precision act on the texture firmware. Oh, oh, oh! 
There you go. Mm -hmm. Get that firmware update. Mm -hmm. Get that going. I'm going to run upstairs and get that video uploading I'm again because I forgot about start, that. I assume. Yeah, that's what I would do. There we go. <laughs> it's that's how loud your card could be. Big zoom in. Because I assume that's the... That's both. Oh, okay. Like, it is... They're, they're fucking chucking there. Yeah. Well, once that's done, restart. I'm gonna go get my video uploaded again.
see if it works this time. You know, that'd be nice, right? Mm -hmm. And you get it fixed. What? Do you get the precision fix? Oh, I mean, yeah, it just turned on. It's running. I, I'm going to restart after I get this uh, all taken care of. I'm just getting my game launchers all in one place because it's been annoying to have to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you gotta do. I would res, you haven't restarted since the since the firmware update. No. I okay. Not. Well, restart once to do that. Then boot into your BIOS to do BIOS update. Well, at least now we know how loud your GPU could be mm -hmm. theoretically. <laughs> yeah, that was a combination of. I'm guessing the reason why it was like this because when it was doing the firmware update, it turned off all. Control. Yeah. Or had to. I also uninstalled the Kronos. Okay. Yeah, I. I yeah, turned Steam off from starting on startup. Oh, because yeah, all those. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've been talking with Joe about using like Robocopy or something for backing up. Because I was originally, originally using a Kronos for backing up my editing drive to my hard Like my big, I have like a 14 terabyte hard drive in there just to have another. That's kind of cool. It matches the other LEDs. Um, to back up that thing, but what a Cronus, a Cronus just used the overhead to mon to man monitor like eight terabytes of data, and then copied over was just my whole system. I don't know if you ever experienced like where I showed you upstairs, where like you'd like open a folder and sometimes it would just like take a second to do it, and I'm running. That system, maybe it's not the latest hardware, but that system still, you, you yeah. saw my like CPU score, still competing, maybe not as good as yours, but still competing with it, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Literally, the, my issue is, I'm, I, the system, the platform is so old, I can't, like, say if I want an NVMe drive, mm -hmm. I can't plug it in. You know, like, I literally can't plug it in, because I have one plugged in, and that's it, that's all you got. And then, because of the age of the platform, that disabled another... Uh, disables a uh, a lane on the on that we can configure that once we get everything mm -hmm. restarted because I, I disable that freaking water thing that pops up every time you know that little like precision to explore mm -hmm. that takes forever to load up oh. yeah. splash screen that's what it's called not watermark splash screen it's so nice did you ever finally install Backblaze or sign up for it? I have not yet, but definitely after what happened. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> very... yeah, and you get 30 days, too, so like you can you choose yeah. a... Yeah, and now Preston's like... That, that's how I learned about doing backups was... At least it, it was my shit, not yeah. my company's shit. Yeah. But mm -hmm. Preston's like, yeah, that would suck to mm -hmm. have to redo mm -hmm. all of this. Mm -hmm. I'd rather not. Mm -hmm. All right, plug in Ducati. Put your BIOS, drive, BIOS file on there. Does it matter what one? No, you, uh, you might have. Well, you only have three point ports, so like yeah. they can't assume you plugged into a USB two port. Yeah. Don't forget, we before you like pa package it back up, we gotta make sure those headers are in there. Yeah. Because one looks like it's sticking out. Yeah, just it's uh, like angled. Yeah. Just a. Uh, Yeah, I saw there's a, you can lock it at the boost clock, too, for your benchmarks. Yep. That's pretty sick. See, I haven't done that before, so I've never gotten, like, a true, like, maximum. What that yeah, if we really wanted to max out, what we do is we go into your BIOS and temporarily set all your fans to max max as well. Crazy. Like, I can tell you, like, when I was actually getting my overclocks and testing it, my mom kept thinking, like, what is going on in your office? So we're looking for the global. Yeah, I mean, unless you want China on your system, but... Please read the description. Do not. Okay. What it say? Okay. So we don't have one here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here. To support 5000 requires BIOS update with Matisse CPU. Previous one. Do not update 33X. We don't have that. No. To upgrade 5000 Matisse. To upgrade 5. Okay. So 3 is what supports the new CPUs and the new stuff. Yeah. Um. 
I think we're well past that. I don't know what version we're on. Yeah. I mean, we can look before we install this, obviously. RT is... Oh, what they're saying is that you can't install the BIOS update with a 5,000 yeah. CPU. That's yeah. And we don't have. We have a 3,000. Yeah. So you should be fine. Yeah. What we were more worried about is that it didn't say, like, you, you need, need the version... previous version to install this version. Yeah, I, I think we're past that already. Like, your yeah. updates are new enough where you don't yeah, need to... it would have been last March, so... For sure, it probably would have been this one here. Yeah. So, so I think we're, we're good. This is going to be a freaking giant BIOS update, though. Because, oh, like... I'm just going to go straight to the... The guy. Well, I have to... You'll have to extract it, too. Okay. So, yeah, we'll just... Sure. Oh, it's already... <laughs> Here's mod my mods. So, the real question is, who can close the real ca rear case panel easily? That's the... Do I when, want... I can leave all this other stuff on here, right? It's like here, what people think is is difficult, and it shows them putting a CPU in, plugging in the front panel connectors, putting yeah. in the rad on top, yeah. and then what is actually difficult, yeah. difficult yeah. putting the back panel on. Yeah. Or once you get it on, and it's there for a couple months, getting it off. Mm -hmm. I had one system at work that I'm like... So I got this guy? And you just need like the dot whatever file, like dot bio or... That needs to go on the root of the flash drive. Okay, so this goes Control X, Control V. Uh, probably take all the other crap and just make a new folder and just call it like crap. Other stuff. Yeah. And useless. Stuff. And then just dump it all in there. That's what I usually do. Because that Ducati is my like random crap flash drive. You know, like just. So that's all we need. Yeah, and then that just has to be in there when the system when you boot in the yeah. BIOS, and then we have yeah. to go and flash it. Close. Close. You should actually see a pretty good yeah, performance, like update in general, not start just. Start to UEFI. Enter UEFI, UEFI, UEFI next boost boot. Yep. And uh, no, hit that one too. Yep. Yeah. Because it'll just restart yeah. it and go into. Otherwise, it. it'll wait until you restart again. Yeah. And that's really not needed because Windows can now do what that's doing. I mean, it's still handy to have the utility, mm -hmm. but back prior to like Windows Seven. Without that utility, you would have to have, like, caught it. You know, like... Ah, ah. <laughs> and the reason why that, that was needed starting with Windows 8 was because it was starting with 8 and now especially in 10. It just straight up... If it booted fine last time, it skips the post. Like, it just... Skips it. Did we get a new message? No, it just looked like the camera was running, like, hyperspeed. Maybe it was catching up. Sometimes it... Oh... Oh, we might be dropping frames is why. Because yeah. I just started uploading that YouTube video. <laughs> yeah. And that and that's going to... Because once again, there's no... Up, hey, yeah, upload manager would be yeah. great. So you could cap it at like... Say if I have 40 up, which I do, right? And we need 6 plus audio for this. So say I want to max out my YouTube upload at 30. That'd be great, right? Mm -hmm. But I can't. I can't do that. Tool, I believe it's under. So I bet you we're dropping frames. I do yeah. apologize. My mom needs my laundry tomorrow morning. Well, I can just bring it up now. If anything, we could just, uh, bop the stream and... Yep. Well, I, cause I don't know if we're going to do anything more that they're going to yeah. care about. Yeah. So... Check the Twitter. Oh, yeah, we're going down to red and orange. Yeah. Well, we're probably I'm sorry, guys. Heard, but... You guys need your Pokemon Pulse. So that's what that's yeah. what's causing this. Yeah. And we shall see you in the next one. Hopefully, please check please come the Twitter back. and Discord for updates if we have any like screenshots of benchmarks or whatever. I'm sure they'll get posted there. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure there's no chance. <laughs>